elves of yore retreated into their fey realms, leaving only mixed bloodlines to remember them in burning eyes and flaming hair. The ancient dwarves diminished and died away, leaving only their sprawling tunnels as testament to their existence. The highborn and the mighty alike have been cast down and the world moved on like a receding wave back into the sea. The world now is a world of mortals, full of chaos, ancient ruins, death, and danger. Ooh. <laughs> Welcome to Tabletop Rocks. Today we are playing Mazes by Ninth Level Games, uh, an old school styled RPG set in a world of sorcery and swords. Uh, I will be introducing our cast here soon, and then we will be going over some basic gameplay rules, and then doing character creation, and then launching into our adventure. All right. So, introducing our cast first. On the left, we have our queen of expression, Rachel. <laughs> and snorts. Um, I am Christine Angel. Chris for short. All right. Oh. And our newcomer wild card, Jackie. <laughs> and I am Freya Trumpet Vine. You want me to go? Our- <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're the Guild Tree brothers. No, I got this, brother. Uh, I'm Henry Guildtree from Oaken Hill. This is my brother, Eric. Yes. We'll be adv- going on an adventure today together. <laughs> I'm here to protect him. Looks from like the sword that needs protection. Yes. <laughs> I shan't comment. <laughs> right. So first, we're going to talk a little bit about game mechanics uh, and some of like the settings of this world that we're going to be playing in. So a great war has brought a downfall of civilization. The elves have returned to the fey realms. The dwarves diminished and died away. The highborn and mighty alike have been cast out. The world is now mostly anarchy. Few governing bodies exist beyond local leaders, um, and the ruins of the bygone age litter the lands. Those brave or desperate enough to search the ruins rarely make it back. There's very little magic that remains in this world, except for lingering curses and enchantments, though the E-Elf, believed to have traces of elven blood, are often known to harness power from time to time. Mm -hmm. And it is a dark age of ignorance and fear, Few can read, let alone understand magic or science, and those who do are often persecuted as witches, cultists, or scholars. I was excited. It's going great then. for this side of the table. Uh-oh. You can read? <laughs> I love to read. <laughs> oh, no. yeah. And so as we play, the story will be in the player's hands. They are the only ones who will be rolling any dice during this adventure. Uh, I will be the maze controller, very similar to a dungeon master, game master, master ceremonies. Um, I am simply here to guide the story. So there are four basic playable characters, and each character has their own corresponding die. Um, once a player chooses their character type, they will roll one die for every roll they make in this game. Um, players also have heart and star points. Hearts pretty simple. They equate to your life points, like a health bar. And your star points are allow the players to take narrative control of the game. Mm. We'll get more into that later. We also have treasure, which is a group resource. Uh, it's not just a pile of coins. Ooh, these are metal. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I want to touch them. Oh, boy. Yeah, so a player can spend a treasure to have any necessary equipment or accomplish a task. Again, we'll get more into that in just a little bit. Also, it is a dark time in a dark world. Darkness is a mechanic um, that I'll be moving here. It's generated by events, player actions, and time passing. As the darkness grows, players will become disheartened. It's almost like a morale check. Mm. And the greater the darkness, the harder your roles become um, as you have Uh-oh. different penalties. Of course. So, yes. Naturally. Always. Yeah. I feel like our darkness is going to get real high. <laughs> <laughs> there's plenty of darkness options. Yeah, on the I saw that there's well. 12. It's a good thing that we so played that's... Mothership before this because there's not okay. much worse than dying. Yeah, I mean, half. Right. space horror. Being you know. gooified? Uh, well, we'll find out, I guess. <laughs> cheers to that. <laughs> Brother, cheers to that. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you two are too much. Speaking to gameplay, there are four main roles that players will be making. You have book, books roles, which are in relation to knowledge, perception, skills, searching, charisma, senses. 
boots rolls, which determine movement, dexterity, reflexes, agility, and speed. Uh, blades rolls, constituting violence, weapons, combat, fighting, dodging. You got it. And bones, which will test your endurance, resistance, strength, bravery, health, and heart. So anything that you do in the game is either going to be one of those four roles or potentially a check. I might make you make a boots check to dodge out of the way of an obstacle sure. or a bones check to fight off the poison in your system. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> is that like saves sort of? In a yeah. Way? Okay. Yep. Gotcha. Yep. And some worries about the fact that I only have a four sided dice and oh. some of these go up to nine. <laughs> That's not how it works. To a degree, but it, it's, it's balanced. You, Okay. Don't worry about it. Different characters we'll have different there. dialogue. We'll get yeah. there. Yeah. I just, You're going to yeah, be great. It's going to be great. Don't yeah. worry. Everything's fine. I'll protect you. <laughs> <laughs> Furthermore, the characters have hearts, as we spoke about before. Your hearts are your life bar. Um, lose your hearts. You don't necessarily die if you lose all of your hearts. You will make a uh, death roll. You may die. You may regain consciousness you may regain consciousness with all of your abilities restored oh but if you lose all of your hearts and you have to make a roll on death store you do take a on your sheets there should be conditions mm, yeah you take a condition one. also once you have had to roll on death's door once you are marked and you have disadvantage if you have to roll again ah uh, got it yes that's cool okay. yeah we also have our treasure, which we talked about, the group is assumed to have whatever items that you need. We don't mm. have to talk about, you know, buying equipment, getting weapons, any of that. Oh, you have God. whatever weapons, items, equipment you think would be standardly needed for your profession as adventurers, dungeon dwellers. I yeah. brought snacks. You brought, <laughs> you brought snacks. Of course you did. Yeah, so. I get hungry. Treasure is a communal pool resource. You can spend a treasure to gain a special item that wouldn't be something standard that you would have. Mm. You might use this if you, say, needed a potion. You could spend a treasure point, put give that back to me, and now you have a potion. Or you, know, you need mm -hmm. some specialty object to overcome an obstacle that wouldn't be considered standard, might be something sure. special. Spend a treasure point. Is the idea that like we had pre-planned that and we brought it along, but like in the fiction, we never talked about it until this moment. Right. Yeah. yeah so yeah. it'll this is kind of a I've tool. I've had it the whole time. Right, exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah, this is a tool that allows us we don't have to spend forever building inventories, right? Yeah. And allows us some narrative control of the game too, sure. right? You get into it, what do I need? Well, a sacrifice to myself, mm -hmm. I can have that item. <clears throat> also, how much treasure you're carrying has some effect on you. So if you have less than four, you are considered skint. If you spend a treasure point or spend one of your treasures, it can only be used to benefit yourself when you are skint. Mm. When you are flush, you will have five to eight. And when it's when you have a flush amount of treasure, mm -hmm. you sacrifice a treasure, it benefits the entire party. Okay. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then if you have more than double the party size, which would be eight or more treasure, you become encumbered. Mm -hmm. Sorry, oh, no. we do track encumbrance in mazes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you would have disadvantage Damn. on movement, uh, uh, I'll boots, see you later. and bone <laughs> rolls. <laughs> Colin's already out. <laughs> So that is the way treasure works. Great. Yeah. And then we have our star points. So each player will have a number of stars based on the class that they choose. And stars are a, a narrative control element mm -hmm. that you can use. You can trade in a star and you would give us a flashback for your character and you can give yourself an item, knowledge, something powerful. These are big narrative moments, things that sure. you could use. Um, if you came across, you know, a ancient scripture carved into the wall, maybe you need to spend a star point and you could give us a flashback of when you were young and grandma came from the far off lands. And as a wee kid, this was grandma's, you know, 
first language. Mm -hmm. And so you actually oh. recall probably enough to get a gist of what is being right. said here, you know, and you use your star points yeah. in that session. Now you can read this and progress with the story. It's oh. just Italian. <laughs> Nona came. Yeah, it's actually pretty Latin. <laughs> and uh, stars also are used for magic users, very similar to how you might use a spell slot. Oh, okay. so you turn okay. it in a star to do major spells. Great. That being said, if you are a magic user, everything you do can be magical. So if you make a a blades roll, mm -hmm. you could hurl magic at them. Perfect. As your attack. If you are doing a boots roll to try to jump across a chasm, you could... I can make myself fly. fly. Yeah, you could <laughs> flow over, right? Yeah. That's all just uh, <laughs> kind of flame, narrative right? flair. Right. If you're I've magical, you're magical. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're magical and you use a star, that's using a big spell. Also, mm -hmm. there aren't really spell lists in mazes, so it's free for you to... Get creative. Get creative. Perfect. I may have to limit you if, you know, you <laughs> you get too crazy with a spell. But for the most part, you <laughs> spend a star point, <laughs> the narrative elements are in your hands. So. Cool. Yeah. That's cool. Remember that one time when I murdered us all with Fireball? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Won't do that again. Yeah. <laughs> I <Or> really do. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to forget. Uh, all right, so next we are going to talk about darkness. Darkness is really a tool for me as the maze controller. Colin made us a great little example here that we'll be able to track darkness visually. Um, but we live in a dark world. There's dark times. You're going to be encountering dark, dangerous, evil things. As you do so, it's going to affect your morale. As things become darker, your roles become harder. So much like treasure, it's kind of got three different stages. One through four, we would consider that bright. Um, the party succeeds on all crowns and has advantage on death's door. We haven't talked about crowns yet. We will talk about that next. Okay. Uh, but you have advantage on death's door and you succeed on mm -hmm. crowns. Four to eight, five to f five to eight uh, it was considered torchlight, and we would negotiate success on crowns. Again, we'll talk about crowns in just a second, and then. Above eight, it's considered bleak. And at this point, uh, the party fails on crown rolls and has disadvantage on death door rolls. So uh, that is darkness. Uh, <laughs> also, I like how my meter is totally not accurate. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just look at the number. Yeah. We'll okay. know. <clears throat> also... The party can move the darkness meter back. As you succeed, oh, you yeah. accomplish your goals, you are successful in your endeavors, nice. you can move that back I into your like favor. That. Yeah. <laughs> There's some helps. hope. Right. Yeah. So, a little. We're not <laughs> a tiniest a smidgen. We're not on a Just haunted a spaceship right. waiting to get Okay. <laughs> Who chose to go there? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you two didn't choose to go there. You chose to go. Well, maybe none of you chose. To go. Just go keep <laughs> going. Stop yeah, yeah, talking yeah. about it. <laughs> Uh, so yes, next is key and crown. So you all have your individual die. Mm. If you roll a one, that is considered your key. That is going to be a success in most all cases. As long as you can say, this is something my character could do, you're going to succeed if you roll a one. That's kind of a, always a win for you. Nice. Crown is usually a win, but depending on your darkness, right? If you're in bright light, you're one through four you're going to succeed on a crown roll, regardless of what role you're doing. If we're in torchlight, we're in the middle, we're going to negotiate that. You might be successful, but there's probably going to be some negative effect that happens mm, alongside your success. Nice. Okay. Uh, if it is bleak, you fail on crowns. Cl crowns are kind of a, a waste of roll for you. So That's not good. Yeah, not uh, great. <laughs> what's, a crown, what's a crown roll? A crown roll, oh, sorry, is the highest number on your die. Ah. Okay. Crown yes. Royal is a oh. whiskey. <laughs> the, we are not drinking it, Crown Royal. <laughs> no, we're not. So that gets us through some of our mechanics of the game. Now we can move on to character creation. So in full transparency, we did talk a little bit about character creation before we all sat down today, just so that everyone could put together their great costumes. Um, but character creation is very quick. It's four or five questions. You answer the question... Um, based on a multiple choice questions, choose your answer. It dictates you to a new table. 
We'll go through it right now, but the players have already chosen their first two questions. There are, as mentioned before, there are four playable characters, each one having a corresponding role. So the Paragon rolls a d4. The Paragon is the most cerebral of the characters, focusing on thinking, talking, and their senses over combat or action. They use their special skills more often than other roles, and they shine when rolling against boots. Er, sorry. Books. 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 I do books. like books. the books. Yeah. No. Rachel, no aka Christina Angel, has chosen the role of Paragon. Next we have the Vanguard, chosen by Colin. The Vanguard is the most active of the character roles. They're pretty good at everything, physical action, combat, and skills. They shine when rolling against books or boots. Next, we have the fighter. You'll never guess. The fighter takes center <laughs> stage when battle starts. They are at their best in combat. The fighter is always in the middle of action during battles. They are generally <laughs> acting... I can't feel anything. <laughs> That's a <rock> solid. <laughs> sorry to interrupt. Oh, I'm sorry. The Vanguard rolls a d6. Colin already has chosen his d6. And the fighter rolls a d8. He has already mm. chosen his d8. Next, we have the Sentinel, which Jackie will be playing. And the Sentinel is the most defensive of the character roles. They are good in combat and especially good at brawn and health type tests. They do the most damage and have the greatest effect, but are less accurate than the fighter. Well, we'll see about that. My precision. Oh. <laughs> Your brawn. So <laughs> awesome. <laughs> So Jackie's so Freya. Well, it makes sense because your name is Freya. Yeah. yeah, you're just like invincible. She's inhumanly strong. If well, we'll right. see. We'll see. Yeah, she's what, she's essentially you? bare grills of the table. Like she just <laughs> oh. lives outside. Like she's scrawny, but you know. Yeah. 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 For but scared. Why, yeah. why are you yeah. an, why are you being antagonistic towards? I've been party through a members? lot of shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just want the credit. <laughs> Listen, it's rough being the second brother. Aww. <laughs> yeah. We'll talk about that in a minute. Okay. So, Rachel, yeah. Christina, as the Paragon, you get four hearts and four stars. Okay. You have the least amount of hearts, the most amount of stars. Sorry, can you say that again? You have four hearts. Four. And I write that down here, right? You can, or I have little physical hearts over there that I cute. thought you could hold on to. Look at your cute little hearts. hearts. And Thank you. four stars. You have the most number of stars as the Paragon. Wonderful. The least amount of health. Take your stars. Beautiful. Colin, as the Vanguard, you have six hearts and three stars. Ooh. A pretty solid mix. Yes, brother. Go ahead and gather my hearts and stars for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're so good at that, Eric. The dynamic is already forming so so well. Uh, he's he's such a good helper. Like the fighter, yes, I am. Real yes, life. I am. Uh, <laughs> the fighter uh, gets eight hearts Ooh. and two stars. Is that eight? Plenty Can't of count. health there. Not two quite. stars. Yes, two stars for you. Two stars for you, my lord. And the sentinel <laughs> are are. Good brawny girl gets ten hearts. Ten. 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 Good brawny girl. Is that ten? Is that all of them? And then how many hearts or stars? And one star. Oh. So the most hearts, the least stars. That ten hearts. It's all right. I, will. I like that your nails ten. match your outfit. Thank you. That's smart planning. Yeah. Mine also yes, match ten. my outfit. Yes, they do. <laughs> Just absolutely gnarly and destroyed. <laughs> It's fitting, right? Like, yeah. Right. You worked hard to get into character. Exactly. I've yeah. been through some shit, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now that our characters have their role chosen, we are going to move on to your aspect. So each character, well, we're just going to go right down the row and do character creation for each person. Okay. All right. We will start over here with you, Rachel. So how does, Cri how does Christina... Christine. Sorry, Chris. It's okay. You can call me Chris for short. No, uh, Chris. Call me Chris. Chris. Okay. Mind freak. How do you solve your problems? Do you solve them through the edge of a sword, from the embrace of the shadows, or with your eldritch sorcery? Oh, my eldritch sorcery. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We all knew you were going there. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So for your aspect, you would put sorcery. Okay. 
So next, you choose your class. Would oh. you like to be the blazing magician? Uh-huh. The guild mage? <laughs> no. The haunted librarian? <laughs> the infernal summoner? The last oh. elf? Wait, wait. Infernal or infertile? Shut your mouth. No, I'm, I'm, this isn't the Witcher. <laughs> settle down. Oh, I, I heard <laughs> infernal. And I was like, that's bizarre. Me in gosh. Infernal. <laughs> Continue. Infernal. <laughs> uh, the quack alchemist, the underground mm. druid, or the wise witch. All of those sound very exciting, but blazing magician. Blazing magician it is. So you can go ahead and put blazing magi- magician <laughs> as respectful. your class. Yes. I do, I do enjoy a spectacle, yes. You? Yeah. No way. Yeah. All right, so now we are going to choose your edges. Oh. We'll talk about what edges are after okay. we've created our characters. <laughs> okay. Um, but again, it's just more question answering. Okay. Uh, the Does blazing Christine a straight edge? Straight edge. <laughs> no drugs Opposite. for me. Opposite. <laughs> this is grape juice. <laughs> <laughs> I never drink. <laughs> uh, so the blazing magician always knows magic. So you can go ahead and put magic in your first edges box there. Mm-hmm. And as a character of raw, pro- as a character of raw power, <laughs> that's staying in the edges. <laughs> that is great. Cute that is raw power. Oh, yes. Love that. Oh no no. Uh, as a channeler of raw power, oh. are you accurate or armored? Oh. oh, you have to choose. Let's choose. <laughs> what should I be? This choice is. Important. Can we do table talk? What do we, What do we? Just hurry up, decide, pick what. I don't fucking know. Go. No. Uh, the, the accurate. I mean, no. Tell me. <laughs> I don't want to. You do whatever you want. I don't have a lot of hearts. You don't have a lot of hearts. Armored could be beneficial if you think yeah. you're going to be the one putting yourself in that situation. Oh, I would never I put my myself brother. in harm's way. <laughs> oh, my brother's here. He can go first. Yeah, but I am going to yes. say armored just because like self preservation is um, high on key. the list. High right. on the list. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I should write down you armored. Yes. Yeah, so armored is your second <laughs> edge, and then okay. are you ardent, strong, or tough? I'm I'm ardent. Okay. I'm ardent as So go ahead and put that as your third. (laughs) And that is character creation. Very passionate. We're done. Very quick. Well, All of us get in. For for Rachel. All right. Jackie, how does Freya solve problems? Via sword, sorcery, or shadow? Sorcery. Sorcery. All right. So go ahead and put sorcery down as your aspect. It's too much magic, by the (laughs) way. I'm scared of magic users myself. <laughs> uh, as a sorcery class, are you a blazing magician, guild mage, haunted librarian, infernal summoner, the last elf, a quack alchemist, an underground druid, or a wise witch? Uh, underground druid. An underground druid. Very good. So you can go ahead and put underground druid as your class. Druids also freak me out. More you so. Watch it. Too too many like uh, spiritual things going on. Yeah. I don't trust it. It's like the. the <laughs> you know that this is a cooperative game, right? Yeah. <laughs> like we're all on the same team. Sure. We haven't even started, and he's sowing dissent. I'm being a group. butthead. Uh, I'm. I haven't said anything outwardly in character to you people. Yes. True. This is all on the table. Sorry, I didn't mean to say you. <laughs> but Wait a minute, I'm your brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sworn to protect you. Uh, <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right, Jackie, as an underground druid, you can always shapeshift. So go ahead and put shapeshift Ooh. there as your first edge. That's going to freak me the that, fuck out. going to fly. That's terrifying. Yeah, that's going to freak me the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. I've seen some shit, but I have not seen anything like that before. <laughs> so it's going to be an animorph situation. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Yes. If we can get like that fan art. Cat, please. <laughs> I've got, oh, a fan art of Jackie. I was like, I've got the books right behind this wall. Uh, as a den. Denizen of the underground world, are you nature wise or maze wise? Nature wise. Okay, let's go ahead and put nature wise. What does wise. I'm oh, sorry, what does maze wise mean though? Maze wise. So in mazes, like any, yeah, dungeon or place where you're going to be adventuring is considered yeah. a maze. Okay. It's like rim wise. He's good at mazing. Yeah. Just like you're good at rimming when you're the rim master. You remember? <laughs> you remember? Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Remembers. Remembers. <laughs> You'll have to go back to our previous video for that one. We did give a content warning on this, right? Yeah. Okay. We'll do it at the top. Okay, okay, okay. All right. <laughs> and are you strong, keen, or deadly? 
Oh, what's the difference? <laughs> right? How do I choose? I'm going to go with strong. Strong. All oh. right. So go ahead and mark that as your next edge. And that is your character. Yay. <laughs> Nate, does Eric solve problems via sword? Sword. <laughs> <laughs> Zero hesitation. Eric knows what he wants. To kill. I want to kill. Oh, to kill. Man. As a sword class, are you a dangerous bravo? A jaded cell sword, a knockabout ranger, monster slayer, outcast bugbear, reluctant hero, savage barbarian, or valiant dragoon? A jaded cell sword. <laughs> Gasp. Mm. Nobody could have suspected that. Gasp. Jaded. What? Do you see? I am so edgy. <laughs> I've been in some things. Speaking of edges. <laughs> <laughs> Let's oh, no. talk about them. Take them off. That triumphant sip she takes after her. <laughs> There's not much left in here. It's a solid joke. Uh, Gotta refresh your blood. <laughs> Jeez, delicious. As a jaded sellsword, you are always well-armed. So you can go ahead and yes, add well-armed as your first edge. And as a mercenary soldier, do you have rank or are you wealthy? Wealthy. He's wealthy. All right. The Oaken Hill family. Or the Guild Trees from Oaken Hill. The Guild Hill Trees, yes. Are very wealthy. Yes. That's and one thing I have going for me. <laughs> well, are you lucky, a veteran, or have you sworn swords, retainers? That one. Retainers. 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 Okay, great. You have retainers, which means you're going to have some uh, buddies with you while we yes. play. Oh, nice. Some lowly folk from the... Gilchrist estate. I won't have to talk to them, will I? No. no <laughs> okay. So bougie. I'm only used to speaking to people of court. I don't know how to talk to anyone else. Uh, I will handle the logistics. Okay. <laughs> Colin. Yes. Do you... Sorry, what is your character's name? Henry. Henry. Henry How Gilchrist. dare you forget his name? <laughs> it elides. He's the firstborn heir. <laughs> you, you can't remember it? It elides. Henry Gilchrist. <laughs> Yep. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Does Henry sol solve his problems through sword, shadow, or sorcery? Sneaky. Or shadows. He's shadows. very sneaky. sneaky, like court maneuvering kind of stuff. Oh, no. He's a sneaky snake. Yeah. I let him I be the you. brash out in front one. So you can go ahead and put shadow as your aspect? Shadow. And are you adventurous small folk? What's mm. small folk mean? Like a halfling. Oh, yeah, no. you're going to be kind of halfling-ish. A down. cursed tomb raider, an excellent vagabond, a filthy urchin. I imagine you're not going to lean that way. Filthy urchin. Right. <laughs> yeah, filthy Nighthawk assassin. What's a vagabond? Vagabond's like a traveling sort of wanderer, sort of like, oh, I'm, you know, kind of like a- A nomad. Well, what was the adjective? What kind of vagabond? Excellent. Oh, yeah, I'm an excellent vagabond. And, and, and these are but don't just rough. You can make yourself a like an yeah. excellent. Right? Well, okay, well, continue. I guess right? you could be, no, but you could be the, yeah. I okay, like to this travel. Yeah. You're yeah. the wealthy um, as heir playboy to the traveler. Yeah. As heir to the throne, it's my duty to visit the provinces. Mm -hmm. And to Takes their wine. wander their he likes fucking long riches. Walks on the beach. <laughs> yes, so I'm, I'm looking for a fair maiden it's all to be mine, my anyway. queen one she's gotta day. Be, she's got to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'll be the excellent vagabond. All right. So the excellent vagabond is always traveled as your first edge. Oh God, he's gonna be insufferable. <laughs> when I had wine in this other country, it was so delicious. Was like, oh, 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 I've seen this type of road before. Allow me to lead. Uh, yes. uh, as a wandering jack, are you charming or cunning? I'm going to say charming. Okay, let's go ahead and add that as your second edge. I mean, we have to treat him as if he is charming. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, I like it. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for making my wife treat me as I'm charming for the first time ever. <laughs> <laughs> this game is working out. Oh, yes. Corset, Role play. check. <laughs> Being called charming, check. <laughs> Meanwhile, he tries to murder me every game. No. This is true. Uh, uh, he won't try to murder you. What? No, not this he won't time. try to murder you. <laughs> not this time. You he will. Doesn't. He'll hire it out. That. I never said that. He'll hire it out. <laughs> yeah. okay. Lastly, are you fast, lucky, or do you have friends? Lucky. Okay. Let's go ahead and mark lucky as your third edge. See, he has no friends, and yet he's charming? <laughs> <laughs> it's because he doesn't let anybody in. You yeah. Know? Mm. Everybody wants to get 
He's so complicated. Let him in. <laughs> oh. Yeah. He's charming on the outside, but he harbors a deep, deep. Actually, that sounds just like my time. So perfect. <laughs> oh, no. It's happening. <laughs> the end game oh, romance uh, is already a foot. <laughs> oh, a moody, misunderstood man. <laughs> Here we go. Brother, you cannot marry the witch. <laughs> Father will not approve I'm this. I'm not a witch. I'm a magician. There, there is a it's difference. The, don't worry. <sighs> There's a difference between marriage and... Stop. Yes. <laughs> uh, all right, so your edges. Edges are... Is that the... I keep hearing the John Legend song, The Edges and Imperfect... What's that song? You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I can't all think of... of me. Oh. oh. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Are you edges and imper- I forget how the word... Oh, but the edges, I just keep hearing John Legend saying edges every time you say edges. Mm-hmm. Ah, if only my voice were so sultry. <laughs> um, um, so your edges give you advantages on roles that pertain to whatever your edges might be. Mm. So... If you are strong and you are rolling to force a door open, you would get advantage on that roll. Roll twice, take the higher of the two. Right, just punches the door. (laughs) (laughs) So it explodes into splinters. Yeah, exactly. Um, And you are magic. So if you are doing something that requires magical knowledge. or always doing magic. Everything I do, I do magically. Yeah, so it's a good choice. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> the curiosity is big. <laughs> so, does anyone have any questions about characters or roles? Do roles we... or roles? Roles or roles? Roles or do like we, yes, your role no, or your yeah. I, yeah. Right. Oh, <laughs> Do we have any sort of like starting wealth, or are we all? Yes, thank you for reminding me. Yes. You all start with one wealth, so feel free to grab one coin, but. Wealth is a communal thing, Thank so you. maybe make a, a mm. center pile oh, there. Center pile, yes. Mm. Another thing to Don't note about cool. wealth. I want to touch it, though. It feels good in my hands. Anyone gritty, gritty. can yeah. spend wealth from the communal pool. You do not need permission. Oh. So oh, it is a shoot. communal resource. You can Respect ask it. the other group members, <laughs> but you do not have to. So... Some Damn, you're stealing there. all the money. You got enough at home. <laughs> <laughs> I'll handle the estate. I've, I've never even had to handle money once. I've got That's what it that. looks like right um, there. Wow. Oh, yeah. It's oh, it's so shiny. <laughs> it's rather beautiful, isn't it? Yes. Have you seen those coins before? Yes, I have. Interesting. <laughs> Salivating. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have. I am wealthy, so. I just get gifts everywhere I go. <laughs> all right well that takes care of character creation for us and i think we will take a short break and come back and start our adventure all right let us begin our adventure the forgotten vault of ard Mm -hmm. for decades the vault of ard has been considered lost recently four mysterious wanders discerned its location Far from civilization, on the bank of a great lake, the vault is said to hold untold treasures, magical artifacts, and tomes of great knowledge. (laughs) Look at this. Look at this. Nice job on the weathering. Is this a. Will your hands smell of coffee? Yes, yes, they will. Is that Pleasant. Hazelnut? Thank you, brother, for handling that for me. I shan't want to get dirty. A map it is. Can, map. Can either of you I can't read it. Because we can read. But I, know I can map. read. <laughs> Everyone yeah, can read except for me. You're having people make the plans for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, no, no. I am. Treasury? Library? I help Treasury father all the time. Point. Library is question mark. Mm. One guard. Vault. Vault. Tomb. Planet guarded we 24-7. Shouldn't. The guards aren't there anymore. No. This Everyone is in this is probably ancient. dead. At least yeah. four yeah. guards yeah, at all times. Th- this vault has been... Lost for, some for time. secret at entrance. least two hundred years. I'm so sure. we should go in through this secret entrance yes. and then wait. What does this say? Row, row. Perhaps we won't find the secret <laughs> entrance <laughs> if it's well kept. <sighs> that doesn't say like uh, I love a good booby traps. Yeah, right, no. <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks like restaurant. 
Maybe Ooh, it is. I love a good restaurant. <laughs> Wait, the Vault of Ard? It's impossible to get a reservation there. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'm with you. Oh, I could get a reservation. Okay, yes. <laughs> Fritz and Fromm, pay attention to your cousin. Are you supposed <laughs> to be able to read that? Remnant? Maybe. I don't know. It's an old ass map. What do you want from me? <laughs> I love so that Eric, cover. Y'all, y'all right. take a look and see if you can. Eric, that. hold that up for me, please. Let me, let me have a gander. Oh, Pierre. Well, the scribe who <laughs> scrawled this <laughs> must have had too much wine. <laughs> the scribe who scrubbed this. <laughs> I'm used to elevated tones. Mm, yes. <laughs> oh wow. I can't read. Look at this. Morning. <laughs> Thrill best. Just look, look where the where the vault is, and then look at the secret entrance. Yeah, that's where. Then we're there's going. a scary hallway that has a word that you cannot. There's a word read. there. Henry's confused. Road there's kill. Starts maybe with an <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying. I can't uh, read. Hold it closer, brother. I can't see. Oh, <laughs> without it calligraphy, says, he just says ratatat. Ratatat. <laughs> like the band. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Pokemon. Uh, Oh. oh, a library! I the tomes that we, we see. We should make must a plan for how we are going oh, to best you're looking, proceed. Oh, you're You're looking for books. You're not looking for the treasure. Uh, what? All right, let's. We'll, we'll do a little introduction, and then I'll let your okay. players. We'll talk about some motivations. Mm-hmm. All right. So, in their long and perilous journey to the vault's locale, a horde of goblins have picked up their trail and pursue them tirelessly. Our story begins beneath dark, treacherous skies, flooding the land as violent waves break against the rocky shore. The four scuttle down an embarkment to the ruins of Ard Fortress as the howls of the pursuing horde mix with the booming thunder overhead. Should their sources be correct, the entrance to the vault lies beneath the moon mosaic of the fortress's floor on which they now stand. So, Good thing we have like a moon druid over here. That's right. Yeah. The four of you standing there in the pelting rain, the booming thunder, the flashing lightning... What, give me your character names once more, uh, a little physical description, your pronouns, and then uh, maybe a little descriptor as to why your character is here. What is their motivation for entering this long lost vault? Let's start. We'll do opposite of how we did character creation. Let's start with you, Henry. I am Henry Gildtree of Oaken Hill, and I am heir to the throne. And I am here because our family is looking for lost tomes that might contain histories that will give us an advantage over our foes. And of course, I look regal and just charming to everyone I meet. Of course, of course. Other than Eric, I guess. He seems to not show his true affections for me, but I know deep down he has a great love for me. Indeed. (laughs) (laughs) I am Eric Guildtree, I am my brother's keeper. <laughs> and uh, I am a sort of like lean muscle, you know, just bent on the road, scarred, obviously. Um, unlike my brother, I am not so well traveled, but I've seen my fair share of uh, death and, uh, you know, terrible things. Hence why I'm a little jaded. A little jaded. Yes. Uh, accompanying me are my our two younger cousins who I have been basically squiring. Um, Fritz and Fromm, Giltry, who are going to be accompanying us on this adventure. Uh, more or less job training, shadowing. Just I, to kind of give them Interns. A, yeah. Interns, yeah. 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 yeah also, Fritz hard. and Fromm are the best names of the <laughs> game. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Fritz and Fromm. So every once in a while, I'll say, Fritz! Why don't you move that aside? From put your cloak down for Eric. <laughs> or for Henry. Henry. <laughs> All right. Jackie? I am Freya. I was hired by the Giltree family to assist them due to my strength and shape shifting abilities. Mm, yes. But I am also eager to rid the evil of this vault. Okay. So, so some. Perhaps some evil lays over this land, and as a druid, you're hoping to restore a natural balance? Yes. And we don't know that. No. We're not aware of that. I don't know. Do they know that? I mean, these have been your traveling companions. It was not, it was a long, Mm. not easy journey to get here. You've spent some time together. I mean, how much have you talked? Are you friends? Are you just like co workers? Are you. I would consider them co workers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
Wow. No, that makes sense. That's that's fine, brother. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> as a the noble family of this region, I thought that our warmth and generosity to our people would have made you feel like we there was a family tie. Mm, I just I guess you I haven't felt that brother. warmth. But yes. just you know the passive aggressiveness. Oh. You know what is warm? Gold. Hey. Yes. Would you like gold? <laughs> I do love gold. <laughs> All right, it. and Christine. Christine Angel, I am the equivalent of a magical pop star, if you will. I am renowned throughout many regions <laughs> as um, a, a flamboyant practitioner of the magical arts. And um, so many head bobs the right there. Tree family <laughs> <laughs> knows of me through tales of bards and, mm -hmm. um, you know just word of mouth since everyone loves to chat about me and um, knew that I was necessary for this mission and therefore are paying me handsomely. However, the money is secondary to mm. the mm. renown that I will. Gotta get that clout. Gotta get, gotta get that clout. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this bread. All right. So before we begin, uh, a few things to take care of first off this is a harsh dark world just living in this world is a little tough so we're going to start at one darkness mm. but also you are being pursued by a foe we're gonna bump you up another darkness oh. Shh, quiet the goblins around us <clears throat> Also, this journey has not been easy. It has come at a cost. Go ahead and uh, put two of your coins back into the pile. Oh, yeah. I don't you are touch down money. Oh. two coins. Filthy. <laughs> Ew. Fritz, cloak. <laughs> Wipe your cousin's hands. <laughs> also, I need each of you to make what in this game we refer to as a chaos roll. It's a 50-50 roll. If it's low... You have lost a heart on your journey oh, to the no. vault. If you are on the high side of your roll, you get to Ooh, low. have not lost a heart. What I a think. I got a four. What do we do with our Where hearts? Where do we put them? On a D6, so you are safe. Yes, just back in the middle. Of course now. everything went fine for me. Everything goes fine for me always. Yes, <laughs> let's not talk about the fact that I had to save you from falling off that cliff, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, you're so dramatic. Oh, I was fine. Oh, I got you, girl. <laughs> Christine, unfortunately, did fall a little thank, bit. Thank you so much for taking one for the team, Christine. I've got plenty to lose. All right. So the lightning <laughs> flashes and silhouetted amongst the, the embankment you just came down. You see the outline of the goblin lookouts. Ooh. They've spotted you as you stand on this mosaic floor. Can what do I, you do? Can I cast some fog? to hide us mm. from visibility. Mm. Yes, I would say that is not just like a, that wouldn't be a, a boots or a blades or a books roll. So I think that's going to cost you a star point. Is it worth it? <laughs> no. Are you worth your salt, magician? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> or are you dead weight? <laughs> oh, what if? Fritz and Fromm, pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> well, but what can I do? Okay. Should you not attack? No, I'm trying to. I'm trying to, to, trying to under, No, I'm trying to understand the difference between. So I have a magic edge. Mm -hmm. So what yes. would be something that would not require? Is it like a prestidigitation like, would it be, sort I'm of like, effect, is it like, like a minor a, sort like of thing? A cantrip mm -hmm. versus a spell slot, like. Yeah. You know, so I think your magic edge fog because I was like gathering mist. Yeah, wouldn't right. wouldn't. So, so, so magic isn't as prominent Put in this in world. Bar, it does right? require a lot. It comes at a cost. Uh -huh. Every little you can do lots of little magic, right? If like I we were saying, if you make a a boots roll. You could say you kind of levitate over something instead of jumping. If you yeah. make a blades roll, instead of swinging a sword, you can shoot a magical attack. That's just a, a standard attack. Okay. Be the same as swinging a sword. Um, but if you want to do a spell. Like overt magic. Yes. You're going to need to use a thing. And then your magical edge. I think that's if you are interacting with yeah. anything magical, you're mm -hmm. going to have advantage on it. Yeah. Okay, well, in that case, <laughs> but stars... I don't do that. <laughs> I don't want to spend because I can't earn them back, right? Like, I only get four for the whole game. 
You can earn them back by kind of dying and doing your knock on death door. And if you don't <laughs> die, you you can be refreshed and just extreme. take a condition. Okay, well then in that case, should I just cast fireball at these fucking goblins? Well, it's just the lookouts. <laughs> in in the brief I lightning there flash. Were hordes. You know what? Why don't one of you go ahead and make a boots roll for me? Not it. <laughs> You're the best, brother. Oh, mm. I know. Sorry, wait. I, I, Cease. Books. Did I say boots? You said boots. I meant books. Books would You're be to perceive things and look out. I rolled a three. What do you see? Well, that Magician? would have got you. Rolled a one. Like a key. Well, that is your key, and you would have succeeded. So in this brief oh, moment of the lightning. We're both so uh, knowledgeable of the situation. <laughs> So in this brief to you. <laughs> <laughs> in the brief moment of a lightning flash, you two are busy searching out this old mosaic in the uh crumbling what does it fortress. Say? What does it say? You two are kind of keeping a lookout. There's a lightning What's flash and you see at least two outlines on the horizon. Okay. okay. Just two. Just two. Just two. Uh, can I use my sneaky? But you can hear. Have they already seen us? Yeah, they are in pursuit of you. You've kind of like, out. your travels okay. here took you twice right. as long. You've been then doubling I'll, back and trying to lose them. Then but. I'll ca- I'll I'll cast a spell. I'll cast a, um, a, a dome-like ward over this entire building so that nothing can get in while we're on our adventures. Mm. Okay. I don't know... It's, so it's a fortress, right? Like this was huge. It's a big dome. <laughs> <laughs> what think, if it's just over the entrance? What if it's just over I can, like the I door? think you could put it over what used to be kind of, this is like a grand ballroom type area with a mosaic floor. This is all Great. crumbling in. There aren't yeah. really many okay. walls left sure. standing. Right. But you could block off this area. Sure. Yes. I just want to be able to get out too. Okay. Hmm. So maybe I block off. Yeah. The way we can. Yeah. Just yeah. our backs so we can like come. Well, because it's not going to last forever. It'll you can, still be. Uh, we'll pret- I can bring it in later. Are you? Can't you just pull it? Turn it off? Like a yeah. Yeah. Torch. I can create yeah, like, a little, like a little doorway in it that only we can go through. Perfect. Beautiful. Great. All right. So give us a, some descriptors. What does this look like? What does it feel like? Oh, um, what does it sound like? I raise my arms dramatically. My Stand hair back, stands <laughs> on end. She's casting and- magic. <laughs> I'm very excited. Watch. Uh, my know. eyes glow problem. violet, and from my hands streams violet mage flame all around us, swirling into a dome. <laughs> Suddenly the wind which... that was pelting you with rain switches directions and begins swirling around the rest of the group. You, the, the rain stops as this magical uh-huh. barrier goes into place. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and then at the end I say... I can't think of it. Something really good. Something crazy. so good. <laughs> that would have been a really good moment. <laughs> <laughs> Fritz and Fromm, pay attention. <laughs> so the bard is exaggerated. Maybe, maybe at, at the end I just... Perhaps we can... Yes. Just do one of those. A little bit. Yeah. Okay. You're welcome. If, well, all right. Thank all right. You. So we are in... Is that on this map? Oh, but I'm looking at you all. I'm waiting for applause. I'm like holding it. <laughs> I'm holding it. Great, Chris. Great. Think just like back at Pigwarts. Fritz, (laughs) clap for her, will you? (laughs) I'm holding this up to like the domes, like made like violet light, and I'm trying to like peer at it. I don't, I can't read, but I've probably looked at a map or two in my time, so I'm trying to figure out. It seems that the map, the part that we are at, is gone from this. Well, it's right here, right? We're in a sort of large ballroom. This is a tomb. But we have to break through right? the floor. Right, that's what it says, too? It oh, does so, so you know the information that you were given is that the entrance to this secret vault is beneath a moonstone mosaic in the floor of mm. what was the great ballroom, which is where you now stand. You can see the mosaic of the floor. Maybe you've cleared away some rubble, kicked away some dust. Yeah, I've, been, I've, been, I've had Fritz and Fromm start just moving stuff. Yeah, so there's I a large someone strong to, uh... Yeah, so there's kind of like a large five-foot you know, circle mm-hmm. moonstone in the middle, then like a half moon next to it, and then quarter moons and crescent moons, right? Uh, so it's kind of like the moon cycle in mosaic yes. on the floor. Witchcraft. Witchcraft. Yeah. Is, Is there, there anything in the the grout? Like, do we see anything that looks button-y or like anything around us that looks like it could be a secret lever? Hmm. Uh, why don't you go ahead and make a books roll? One. A one. So that is your key? Yeah, I think you're kind of looking around... Feeling around the the main 
moonstone there, you, you could feel that there is kind of a break, right? It's not fully grouted in there. Mm-hmm. Um, you try to find a way to get any finger hold on it. You can't really find it. So you start looking around for a switch and sure enough, under one of the other stones, the stone is kind of loose. As you pull it aside, there's kind of a little click and the moonstone begins to lower. Mm. Oh. Quickly, on uh-huh. the moonstone, is the moonstone lowering like an elevator? Yeah. Okay, oh, I cool. quickly yeah, get on a, the moonstone. <laughs> on the moonstone. gears roll. And Fritz and Fromm. Stop I forgot that fussing I with the metal. Bottom, bottom of my eyes. <laughs> I guess it doesn't really mess it up. It's just, <laughs> yeah. How long does this dome last? Um, in perpetuity until I say otherwise. <laughs> Because it cost me a star. Uh, I would say as long as you are conscious. Ooh, oh, yes. yeah. Okay. I don't know that you can hold your magical power. Fair. I say that and I kind of. You just keep that part. <laughs> as, long as, <laughs> as long as I'm still alive. Conscious. Ah, yes. Alive. Well, I can take a few goblins. I think that. Fine. Oh, I could probably take Wait. 10 by myself. <laughs> it's easy, brother. Easy. <laughs> All right. This lowers you down probably about 10 feet. The the purple glow of the magical dome kind of fades. You're in almost darkness. A slight purple glow remains. And there's a stairway heading down. All right. Can I just make a little light in my hand without spending a star? Yeah, I think you all have adventuring gear. You'd have a torch or a lantern. Uh, You are magical, so you could have a magical orb. You could have a glowing something. Magical violet orb. Okay, great. Eric, could you have one of the cousins come be my torch bearer? (laughs) Brom. (laughs) 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 Fritz, stay close. Hmm. Um, All right, so yeah, it illuminates the the stairwell. It looks like it's navigable. Na- can you see? You it? can walk down it. <laughs> so <laughs> you do. <laughs> One of those words. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I'm just sort of keeping an eye on if there's any sort of trouble down here. But I'm also sort of like keeping an eye on my brother and making sure he's not going to just start like, oh, mm. the stone. Look, this is a ruby, brother. And just pulls it out or something. Yeah. I'm definitely curious about everything. Yeah. I'm like, look at how these stones were hewn in such a hurry. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So uh, I will know as we travel throughout this vault the the, the marching order. Um, most of the time you will be maybe, you might be able to fit two people side by side tightly. Um, if someone needed to, you know, have their hand held, but mm-hmm. otherwise it's probably single file. So who do we think is leading this procession down the stairs? From. From. <laughs> <laughs> who is following it up? I think I would be following yeah. okay. From. Gotcha. From I have is like Firmly a good in the middle. 10 feet in front of everyone else. Gotcha. I, have from, I have from go ahead, and then, like, you probably walk right by him. I was like, yeah. Good. And then he, like, he was walking, like, oh, nice. I would say the thereafter, and then you and Fritz are behind me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Keep okay. back. Yep. So as you're heading down the stairs, Bring up the rear. Yep. from is ahead of you just in the torchlight. You see him get to the bottom of the stairs and kind of turn a corner, and you do hear a little, like, ee! Um, <laughs> But it's 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 not a pained one, just kind of a a, a quick surprise. What do you surprise. see from? <laughs> what is there? As you all come down the stairs, you're in a small room, maybe nine by nine. Um, the floor here is is kind of at a slant. <laughs> <laughs> we all do that. What does it say? <laughs> Everyone's squinted. Yep. <laughs> None of us are wearing our glasses. So, nine you know. by nine. What does that even mean? There's no scale to this year, map. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah, you're in a, a room. The floor is kind of at a weird slant, and there's a little bit of, like, water in the corner of this room. Also, to your left is a doorway. Next to that doorway, it's pretty standard, like, wooden door, uh, metal lock, but the door is... There's a few inches of water on that side of the room. Hmm. And I like, uh, kind of see it trickling underneath it. Yeah, right. Okay. This whole fortress and vault oh, we're, we're on the bank of a right. great lake so, so our is is where we're at the bottom of the stairs sort of like is there water down there too or is it just in this room so the this it's kind of floor angled. is at an angle Got and it, it kind of angles towards the door on your left and Got by it. that door there's just i mean you know an inch of water maybe Can so I? keep in mind we're next to a lake Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. So we yes. don't want to open the wrong right. door. We don't want to go too far mm-hmm. down. That'd be a problem. Yeah. So um, there's a wooden door there. 
going to try the doorknob just to see if it's locked or not. Uh, it is locked. Also, what made Fram give his little yeah. yelp of surprise, yes. there is a, a, a skeletal guard laying in shambles next to the door. There's a rusty pike laying on the ground. I give him like a shove. It's like, <laughs> keep your wits about you, boy. <laughs> it's I, dead, for goodness sake. I whisper to Fritz and I tell him, would you go check that skeleton, see if there's any interesting bits or bobs on it? Uh, he kind of picks through it. Yeah. Uh, you know, he like goes to like move an arm, the arm falls off, he like tugs at the tunic, and the tunic is just rips, it's, you know, beyond paper thin. Uh, but he does come back to you with a standard metal key. It's a bit rusty. Oh, but... Mm. How interesting. Do you want to use that in the door that's locked? Right. Do you trust this door? Yeah. Yes. Fritz, <laughs> open the door. <laughs> Allow me to go stand back halfway up the stand stairs. Stand back. Excuse me. Stand back, Henry. <laughs> uh, Maybe make some room. Yeah, from back against the tries wall. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't even fit in the lock. Mm. This key is kind of large. This is a, a smaller lock. Mm. You can't even get it into the, the hole. I'd give him a Perhaps we need someone <laughs> with give the stealthy key. like qualities to pick a lock. I took a lock picking class once. <laughs> of course you did. Father insisted. Why would he insist that? Why would he want you to do that? <laughs> I'm very well educated. Well, <laughs> show us the way, brother. Show us the way. Certainly. Go ahead and make a books roll for us. Two. Two. That is a Does success. It? So yeah, it's not too hard. I think you actually probably get in there and this lock is so kind of rusty that you go to pry around and then the mechanism just kind of crumbles and the door... From come here. And I wipe all the rust off on him. <laughs> Thank you, cousin. So this opens into a hallway. You can go to the left or the right. Um, it looks like the water gets a little bit deeper as you head to the right. Uh, a little less deep as you head to the left. It slants up to the left a little, down to the right a little. Mm. Where do we think we are? I was going to say, we don't know. Did we go into the secret got, entrance? I don't know if we've gotten to where we need to go yet, unless mm -hmm. this is where we where are. We came in. This might mm -hmm. be it. There's stairs here, and then maybe this is, and then there's left and right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you said there's a left, there's... There's a left, and to the left um, slopes up. Mm -hmm. kind of out of the water a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, you can see a door down that way, or to the right, um, you can also see a door, but it looks like the water gets deeper down there. Mm. So like the, the door is probably half submerged. I oh. see. <clears throat> so there is a... From, how good of a swimmer are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go towards the... Well, I would love to explore all of this place. We'll come back, brother. <laughs> I'm a very thorough traveler. From I open... forgot. As you guys entered the vault, we need to move darkness ahead because oh. you have entered the vault. Mm. We're getting closer to Torchlight. Hello. I uh, I have Fromm go up the up the stair, or up the slant. Up the slant? Yeah, to the door. Okay. Yeah, he heads up there. Um, is the door locked? It is not. Okay. I give him a nod, have he, him sort of... He pushes it open, open, peeks in. Uh... Eric, it just looks like well, there's some treasure in here and some statues. I quickly walk up there. Get out of the way, boy. <laughs> open the door. I look inside. Yeah, you open the door, and uh, yeah, it's a um, kind of a thin, longer mm -hmm. room. It's mm -hmm. maybe twelve by twenty-four. Okay. Uh, to the right, there's a large arched doorway uh -huh. uh, with stairs leading down. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's yeah. And, right yeah, all along the walls are all of these statues. Um, right, this is very ruinous. It's half kind of crumbled yeah. down. There's a few, because it's at a slant, some of the mm -hmm. statues on the the northern wall are fallen over, and the ones on the southern are leaned against the wall. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, there are all sorts of jewels, offerings that look look to be offerings that have been left kind of by these statues. Sure. And as you look at the great arch, you can tell that it would have probably headed down into a tomb. Oh. Um, if you would like, you can gain up to three treasure in this room. Oh, uh, yeah. Each, Why would we or not? all of us collectively? Uh, just three altogether. Okay. Because yeah. it's... Fritz and Fromm, please pack your satchels with yes. the treasures. 
<laughs> uh, to bring back? I have Fritz and Fromm together grab treasures so we can get our three treasure. As Fritz and Fromm, so go ahead and grab your treasures. And as they are collecting things and packing their, their saddlebags, um, suddenly through the floor, a green glow appears oh. as a specter rises up out of the floor from the yeah. ceiling. What a hand this? reaches out and pulls itself into the room. And from the stairs, you see uh, another ghostly specter slowly trudging up. Christine, is this one of your magical tricks? Uh, nope. Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, I attempt to. I mean, I. I, I sorry, I'm struggling to how to like play a sorcerer in this. But what game would the, the person who wants to get rid of evil do? Well, we don't know that it's evil. Oh, true. Right? I want to talk to them. I can probably... either of you communicate with them? I don't know. We can try. Yeah, I just say we can try. So as you two, you all are debating, <laughs> it rises up, and I'm going to have you make a uh, bones save <sighs> for Fritz and from. Mm. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> we need them. Five, five. So they do make it. Uh, these things. One coming up out of the floor, one through the ceiling. The other one's trudging up the stairs, isn't quite there yet. Um, but the first two kind of swoop in onto Fritz and Fromm, who dive out of the way. Imagine. Come land. here, you blithering idiots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, these things are definitely attacking. attacking. Hostile? Okay. Yeah. Um, I suppose they're specters. I don't know. I've, I've probably seen a few specters in my time. Yeah. These I are know really that I can't do anything. Against them, probably with my blade or anything, but I know the two of you, yeah, yeah, magic and whatnot. Would we need to spend a st- I'm, right? I guess I'm just like so you can I'm do a magic my head around it. Yeah, so if you want to do a magical attack, you would just make a a blades roll. a blades roll, right? And it oh. would be a magical power attacking them. And you can say okay. I've got a sword and I'm swinging my magical sword and it does magical damage, or you could shoot a magical attack. Hell and use yeah. my bow. Yeah, yeah, you do Use it. my arrows. You take one and I'll take sure. one. Sure, you okay. are of sorcery, so back. you could back use a magical back. property on your bow if that's what you're mm-hmm. using. Okay. So sure, is that what you both want to do? Is make? Do, are we positive that they're evil and not here to help they us? Just though? To kill they just trying to, they just try to kill Fritz true, and Fromm. Fritz, okay. my cousins. <laughs> you know, I mean, <laughs> they do look a little weak and scared. Well, maybe. Fritz and Fromm do. Yes, I mean they are not exactly. <laughs> as you and the guild trees have put out. So what are we rolling? As you engage in this battle, suddenly things. Things become more bleak Blades as you deal glory. with specters of the. Do you want to change out the thing to be torchlight now that you're in torchlight? You're actually still in. Oh, okay. Because it's bad. four, four, four. Yeah. I, I got, got a one. A one. A uh, so that is your key. Mm-hmm. So you are successful. Mm-hmm. So you can go ahead and then roll your die again, and that is your damage. Oh, four. Four. Great. Um, yeah. Maximum damage. Yeah. So what is what does this chance. magical attack look like? Oh, it's just you know my typical flames from my hands. Okay. But this time it's like uh, um, it's just it's just pointy. Just point. Yeah. Pointy it's just magic. Pointy. Yeah. So you, Fritz. You know, as the specter swooped down on him, Fritz dove away, <laughs> landing on his pack. Some gold and jewels go rolling out. Idiot. And you, just as the <laughs> specter is about to grab him, Freya you blast and I, it. Freya and I are dramatically back to back. Yes. Oh, and yes. I do my thing simultaneously. As <laughs> That's she, the thumbnail. She does, she does her, <laughs> yes. You're so the specter angels. screams, yes. <laughs> you know, as it flies back, but uh, gets pushed back a little ways, uh, but turns to face you. Freya, what was your role? Oh, it was not. It it's still like there. Yeah, <laughs> and and angrier than ever. Excellent. Oh. I rolled a nine. A nine on your blades is a failure. Yes. Oh. So so what were you trying to do? What what, what did trying, that attempt look like? I was trying to shoot a magical arrow. All right. What makes the arrow magical? <sighs> my fingers. <laughs> my fingers. <laughs> Imagine it came from my body. From my I do. Yeah, no. <laughs> I make the magic. I, I thought you were going to say what made it fail. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh. What makes them magical? Um, they glow mm-hmm. green. Okay. Mm-hmm. With, with earth and energy? With earth and energy. Yes. Imbue yes. it with that spirit. All right. Yes. Yeah. So you loose your arrow um, to try to save from, and the arrow 
gains the distract and dis- gra- gains the attention of the specter uh, as it turns towards you. Um, does anybody else want to to take a turn, make a? I will attempt a decision yeah. to swing because I, I imagine I pulled from up off of the ground. I said, "You moron!" <laughs> yeah, like, I think as you're so especially as I saw thing. the treasure come out of his pack. I'm like, <laughs> 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 Uh, the the third specter has sp- now reached the the yeah. top of the stairs is in the room. Yeah. And it's just kind of like surveying. I'm going to try to attack whatever is closest. So okay. just whatever is You just be. grabbed Fritz or Fromm, so yeah, one of those I just two. one okay. of them and just pull them away, and then I'm going to just swing at the closest thing. Sure, what Not- kind of weaponry does Eric wield? I wield a longsword. A longsword, all right. Yeah. It it's is not great for close quarters there, sir. No. It, well, well you also have a death reach. Reach. Poking. <laughs> I don't want to get any closer than I have to. <laughs> Jab All right, go ahead and make uh, a blades roll. That's a five. A five Ooh. is a success, so you can go ahead and roll damage. Great. Same die? Yes. <laughs> One. <laughs> One. All right, so you hit this thing, but your sword <laughs> passes right through it. There's zero resistance, yes. right? It kind of throws you kind off of what as I you... Expected, yeah throw yourself into it and expected some I'm not resistance great about that nothing so where are sorry so where are we on the map is there a door behind us i think well there's a staircase here with an archway i this, think and this is where we are and this is where we are i think and then there's mm-hmm. a, a there's a tunnel or a door or something on the other side of the room there is yeah there's a, a door on the other side of the room great it's i suggest y'all go uh, there's hold on so they can go through things mm-hmm. uh, yes. in my years of studies and deep knowledge of ancient tomes would i yeah. have possibly come across maybe a spell book so i was interested in magic that might have uh, been like a dispel magical being spell uh you certainly could have if you want to uh have that flashback and spend a star point i would love to have that flashback and spend Mm -hmm. a star point okay yeah go ahead and sacrifice your star and uh give us that flashback as to how you came into possession of this tome i remember one autumn evening after the court supper i was sitting beneath an apple tree Mm -hmm. and i had found the oldest book in the library and it happened to be filled with the secrets of magic. And as you read, the court bard was ordered to accompany you and was singing tales of Christine Angel, yes. the great. <laughs> and I specifically remember this spell because the illustration on the next page was so spectacular of this beautiful sorceress. Oh. <laughs> Raven haired, uh, <laughs> busty. <laughs> yeah, I figured I should stop my description. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but he'll take it. Over. You're taking that. He'll take it. <laughs> I got it. Bodacious, beautiful. Right. So, so what, did you? Were you willing to like rip out the page of this? Thing, or you oh, have the whole shit. book. You've carried it I with you all these years. He ripped out the picture and put it in his wallet. Right. Right. It was definitely uh, tacked to my corpse's oh, wall. No. Okay. Good Come thing on. the spell happened to be on the back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so and I would pretend I was reading the spell whenever Father would knock on the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just reading spells. Father, I'm just reading spells. <laughs> you shouldn't be concerning yourself with that. <laughs> That's going to be a shirt, right? I'm just reading spells, Father. Um, <laughs> oh All right, so yeah, you now you have this. You remember it. You. Oh yeah, I, you pull it out. Problem is, you, you yourself are not inherently magical. Hmm. Hand it over. You hear your brother from across the Put the books away, Henry. Go, <laughs> Freya. Really? Don't when there's let, my yeah. picture on the. Can room? I finish my sentence, Freya? Don't let Christine see this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He hands you a picture of a busty <laughs> ring. No, no, flip it over, flip it over. <laughs> what, what is this? How long have you had this? What, Why is it so what are these stains on me here? <laughs> it's why, so why rigid. Is this? <laughs> <laughs> what is this cardstock? Uh, oh no, this is really embarrassing. Cardstock yeah. hasn't been invented yet. <laughs> uh, I think <laughs> in, in, in the time it's taken you to do this, uh, I'd like the both of you to make a bones save as the specters. Oh. Sw- you I mean, got to roll us. a five or above when I have a four-sided dice. I got a four. A four. So a four is your crown. 
Oh, and okay. things are not so dark yet. Your crown is still counts as a success. Excellent. So you succeed. So yeah, the specter turns after you blast it with your fire magic and uh, swoops in on you. You are able to evade. What does that look like as it swoops towards you? Oh, it's a matrix style. Ooh, Ooh nice. All right. <laughs> like, and yeah. Uh, I rolled a nine. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, you're successful. Nice. Mm-hmm. What 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 does your evade or you could block it? You could. What stops the specter from being able to harm you? Uh, I want to block it. Okay, uh, what's your block look like? What are you blocking it with? Just your arm. It just she's raw strong. arm. Yeah. she's so strong. Yes, imagine it turns My into arm. like a bear arm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> Imagine. Arm of steel. All right, yeah, bounces it right yes. off. I knew we hired her for a good reason. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> I'm just like, wow, amazing. All right, Eric, Imagine. I'm going to have you make uh, a bones roll what? as well <laughs> as the third specter that just All came right. up those All that right. stairway. That's an eight. Easy. An eight, yeah. What is your... I just sort of like do like a little flourish, right? Flourish like spin and he a little bit. lunges like, right by yeah, you. Just like, yeah. Take a little bit a of a flag football step. spin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Juke out of the way. <laughs> Great. All right. So we and have we have the spell. So I know and I know the spell, but Freya's got the spell. Do we have to spend a star point to use the spell? I would say since Colin has already spent the star, I'll let. Let it be used, mm-hmm. yeah. Nice. Let it be. Thank you. Do you want to do it? Or, do you, do it you. Or do you, want, do you want me to do it? You have the thing. I said, don't show it. To I will do it. Okay. I will do I mean, it. It's in my head. All right. And so, what was this? Anyway, you don't need to know what I had. What was the spell on this? Uh, dispel magical beings. Dispel magical beings. Or send them back to whence they it was came. Like a turn undead, like or something like. Yeah. That. All right. So Freya, yeah. you you get look it. at this. Yeah. You 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 get the gist of of what's happening here magically. You're able to interpret it. How does this look? What does it look like in this room with the specters and? Fritz and Fromm laying on the floor. Or I think you picked one of them up. Yeah, I shoved him back by the door. Yeah. <laughs> the Specters are trying to attack you. Yeah, I'm getting the other one. And <laughs> I you mean, read the spell, what happens? What I think I am shot? frantically like trying candy. to read this disgusting piece of paper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and casting it up with my hand as wind is whirling around me. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, the Intense. specters begin to scream as they get sucked into this tornado. <laughs> yes. Where does the tornado take them? To hell. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a hole in this roof? <laughs> well, I mean, you could you could send them right down through the yeah. floor, wherever through the roof. Send them out of the yeah. They just send them to the goblins. Send them to the goblins. Yeah, let them haunt there the goblins. Right, yeah, so. they get sucked into this whirlwind and they start spinning around. You can hear the odd, unearthly, unnerving screams. And what does that sound like, Chuck? <laughs> Man. <laughs> no, that's so bad. Don't ask me to do that. <laughs> 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 that is love that is good. Love that's good. Love that's good. Uh, and yeah, they get sucked up and they <laughs> pushed up through the ceiling and they disappear. Um, mm. The dust settles. The eerie, gl- gl- the eerie green glow mm-hmm. of the your foes is gone. Pick up that coin, Let Fritz. Us <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, they pick up those coins. You're also able to notice now that you've got a second, that stairway heading down. Um, you could go down about 10 feet, and then it looks like it's collapsed in. You mm-hmm. can't get through the space. Is it flooded at all? I know we kind of went up. It is flooded the through there, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's right. flooded, not collapsed? Or both? Both. Both, but like the flooding is just kind of like the it's last two there. stairs are disappeared. Sure. That's, okay. just the, that's just the... What is are it, you called? Not a D, not a GM. I am the, the maze, maze controller. controller. The maze. The MC. The MC. MC Chuck at the head. That's the, just the maze controller's <laughs> way of saying don't go down there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, also, as you were successful oh, in dispelling oh, beat back enemies, the darkness, you're feeling pretty confident. You're feeling pretty good about Hell this. Yeah. You know, it was a tough journey to get here, but Friends so far. Friends. Going pretty oh, good. Yeah, so I'm Excelsior. gonna have Fritz and Fromm. I'm, actually, I'm gonna have Fritz go up the um, up and continue up to the door that we have not yet explored, okay. and then I'm gonna have Fromm double back and go to the water and see if he could see anything. Okay, down in the water. So it is dark down here. There's no sources of illumination, and it's gonna be even darker in the water. What type of light source are you sending with? I'm him? gonna 
I am not going to give him the lantern. I take that away from him <laughs> okay. and I give him a torch. A torch. Okay. I just say, you know, be quick. Yeah. Um, be nimble. Be nimble, be quick, and, you know, don't scream too loud if something happens. <laughs> okay. And he turns and he shakily heads off uh, back the Stand way he came. Stand straight. <laughs> straight. <laughs> um, Quiet. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Faster. Have you been an abusive dad? Well, like well, like you're not my kids. <laughs> my cousins. <laughs> cousins. We all know how we treat cousins. That's Sorry, cousins. <laughs> um, all right. That, yeah. w- that was Fritz or Fromm? Fritz is going to the water. Fromm okay. is going to the door. Fromm heads up to the door. He opens the doorway, kind of peeks in, um, says, Look, looks looks okay. Speak There's, up, boy. <laughs> It looks okay, oh sir. There's some, uh, just, just like an LG hallway. There's another door at the... Ah! And he disappears. Oh. Yes, just as I expected. <laughs> no. Good call. Yes. Sending the expendables, brother. I uh, walk up. All right. Fritz, or from <laughs> Whichever one. from Whoever's left. Uh, yeah. Are you good? I'm good. I... It's... It's dark water. I can't. I tried to put the torch in there. Oh, God damn it. Not you. Not you. The other one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nothing. Oh, no. I like kind of walk like a looks- little bit close. I like kind of take the edge of my long sword to sort of push the door open. Yeah. So, as he said, you've got a hallway here, maybe yeah. 20 feet long, um, an open doorway at the other end. You can't quite see into the room. Your light doesn't provide you that much sight. Mm-hmm. And this room does have some like. Uh, it's like a fungus like algae kind of growing along the floor and wall. Do I recognize like what's going on? All right. So this is, I would say is a books roll, but also you are nature wise, correct? So you can roll twice and take the better of the two. You have advantage with your nature wise. All right. There's a three, a three succeeds. Mm -hmm. So I really need to roll again, which can four. So that's six. So, so yeah, but you succeed. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you do recognize this. Freya, these are treason. Uh, you notice what treason vines look like. You've come across these before. So treason vines, you know. Sounds ominous. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They uh, tend to wait till you've touched them or disturbed them in some way. And then vines will reach out and grab you. Ooh. They're usually not particularly deadly themselves, but they will try to hold you and just keep you until you die so that you mm-hmm. can provide fertilizer for them. Um, but they aren't particularly strong, so it's often pretty easy to break free. Mm-hmm. But when you're underwater, um, it's not great. Yeah, no, stay back. Or if you're my Don't weak touch cousins, them. Then. Well, you do know from your extensive nature wiseness um, <laughs> that trees and vines often grow around areas where there are other threats, mm-hmm. and that they will pull unsuspecting victims towards that threat to guarantee their death and or fertilization. That mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's just or cut these plants animal. and be rid of them. Can we? Can we just... that... I'll touch them. I'll just rip them I up. Would... No big deal. Don't <laughs> touch them. <laughs> Stay back. <laughs> I would think right. you could use a sword on them, right? Like but rip. not uh, not your hands. Yeah, I mean, you yeah. could... You can use touch like, them and wait for the vines to grab you, and then you can chop away at it. Yeah, yeah. Can I just how, them far, with your hands? how far is the tunnel, the hallway? It's about a twenty foot tunnel, maybe. Can we burn them. Can we burn the algae. Is it like wet? It is like it's a wet algae really fungus yeah. stuff. Right. It, I might, mean, like, if you had some like intense, intense them. magical fire, right? That could. And I don't yeah. see Fromm anywhere. No, Fromm just got. He's nowhere you can see. And they do they pull like down like is it like uh or is it just like they trap them? Um, I mean it depends on the setting. I mean this is a stone you know arch ceiling stone yep. floor and walls. Yep. You don't see them in this I hallway. Just, I it. just cast a uh, line of violet mage Petrified. flame to split it like the Red Sea and hold it back. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and use a star point to do that. All right, so you use, yeah, you, you I, cast I clap that my hands together, a line oh. forms down the middle, and I bring my hands back, and it's all gone. And I'm Yeah, there's just little afterwards. withering green yeah. charred bits on the fl- the walls and floor. You're welcome. I'm, keeping it, I'm like looking at safe. you to like see if you're like, 
getting like enamored with this. <laughs> I was like, that's cool, but don't mess with my complexion. That was a lot of heat. Did I get, am I all flush now? Fine. Oh. All right, so your fire spell rushes down the hallway and engulfs the hallway. You all are temporarily blinded by the brightness of this, the heat. I'm you blinded feel the, by the light. It's mage flame, though. It's not necessarily hot. Oh, okay. It's cold, which is scarier. It's just scarier. Oh. It's unnerving, yeah. No. The flame's hot. hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, and as the flame dies away, you're left with nothing but little charred bits of this algae like fungus. Um, but sure it seems to be inert. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking earlier. I was like, she's just got to blast them. I was like, I'm okay with that. That's all right. <laughs> Fr- Fritz catches back up to you, and he's just like, I, I, he's soaking wet. He's like, I couldn't. Is the torch wet? <laughs> <laughs> no, he kept it above his head okay, and going under, but he, he couldn't see in the water. He, he <laughs> went into the room, um, yeah. and he, he could tell it was a, a, a decent-sized room. Uh-huh. He says that there's, it looks like maybe like book covers floating around, like the leather uh-huh. book covers that uh-huh. were left, but any, yes. you know, maybe there's some like pulpiness that might have been dissolved Lost paper. Lost to time. Are you kidding me? We've lost these great tomes of knowledge. It looks like the sure library, we'll based fine. on this map, I'm sure it we'll looks fine. like there's more in a library. The library is underwater. This is oh, a travesty. Yeah. No, gone no, the other direction, it, brother. You yeah. see, oh, the library oh. is ahead. It's still ahead of us. It looks Be like there were just brother. some extra. <sighs> Our treasure's still away. It's just bonus content. One guard ahead. <laughs> hmm. I uh, no sign of Fromm. I'm gonna have Fritz take the lead. <laughs> 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 Fritz, good, good job. Watch your step. Your uh, brother. Don't touch the. Is, uh, he's gone up ahead. <laughs> he looks very nervous as he walks down this. Uh, Stand hallway. straight. Come on. <laughs> you represent the Gilletree family. He's just like. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, keep your wits about you, boy. Yeah. <laughs> or I will keep them for you. <laughs> You're so abusive. <laughs> So are you guys going in? You're just standing at the like the entrance to this hallway. Well, I, he's if he walks up, I'm going to give him again like a ten feet. And I'm like, okay, okay now. Let's okay, go. yeah. So I'm you make it. There picking my fingernails. <laughs> like, <laughs> you make How are we going to find after, something interesting? After, after as soon as you say that, you're about halfway up the hallway. Yeah, what did I do? Uh, Fritz or Frau, whoever's left, opens, Fritz is left. Uh, steps into the next through the kind of like arched doorway. Don't walk through it this time. He stops and he turns. He says, "What?" And then something <laughs> wraps around him, and he gets sucked into that room. And you hear a a squelchy splash. Oh! oh. Y'all need to watch your steps. Well, in your hands. That's why you have cousins. <laughs> Eric we had cousins. I can't recall, but did we bring any additional cousins? No. <laughs> no for the cousins. Oh heavens! They are gone. <laughs> we left Felm and Fond at home. <laughs> Uh, uh, I, if and Fond don't make it into a future adventure, I'm going to be so upset. <laughs> so Fritz and Fromm are both MIA. Um, I, do, I give a deep sigh. <laughs> More out of annoyance than out of concern. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just kind of, I guess I, I don't know, you're sort of like leading behind. So I'm back with you. And I say mm-hmm. like, mm, let's give it a little bit of time, brother. Mm. Let's inspect what's going on here. The splash we heard? Yeah, sure. you heard kind of like a, a squelchy, in stickiness, and then a, a, a splash. Someone peer into the room. <clears throat> Freya? Uh, I will look into the room. Turn into a All right, fish as <laughs> you look into the room, this room has uh, kind of ankle deep, deep water at the entrance, it, sloping back down again. Um, the whole room's floor is covered in water. Go ahead and make a books roll, mm-hmm. and uh, I would say that you have advantage on this Oops. due to Ooh. your nature-wise. I rolled a nine. Okay, so go ahead and roll again. And a seven. And a seven. Okay, so you kind of peek in and around. Um, go ahead and make a bone save. Oh, pull Freya. Roll high again. Oh, no, right. Freya. Really? Uh, it's okay, one. it's key. It's one. one is a key. Yeah, okay. that's a good one. Uh, oh, sorry. Nope, it's the bad one. Uh, 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 <laughs> Fritz? Yeah, Fritz. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, so you're in uh, torchlight now. We're huh? in torchlight, so we're yeah. going to swap that out. So torchlight now means that 
you will have to negotiate the success of crowns. Mm. So if you roll your highest number on your die, when it was normally a success previously, it will now need to be negotiated. Oh, please, Mace Master, please. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just have this one, please. So negotiation, not quite like that. We'll probably negotiate, if you want to succeed on this roll, yeah. I'll give it to you, but I will also have some sort of negative effect happen mm. as well. We know you yeah. just like to see us beg. <laughs> yeah. You will, give it to me. <laughs> you will give it to me and you will. <laughs> oh, I'll give it to you. Oh, oh. no. Oh. The hell? Oh. <laughs> right here. Jack, Jack, please. Hey, Avert your eyes, eyes Jackie. Oh, boy. Uh, what did you say? Okay, we're cutting all of that. No, we're not. Oh, Leave yeah, it in. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so all of a sudden, a. Um, a bat-winged death frog leaps forth. Oh, what? <laughs> what? Oh, you can't just fuck? skip over that like that's a normal uh, thing to say. What is it? Bat-winged A bat-winged death, bat death frog. It's a so giant amphibian with a large, large mouth mm-hmm. and a long, like, oh, sticky tongue. Genetics. And bat wings. Yeah. Wow. Um, it okay. leaps up out of the water with one massive beat of its leathery wings its tongue lashes out and smacks into you for but i rolled a one <laughs> oh wait you did roll yeah, a one, rolled rolled a one. Key. yeah. okay sir <laughs> it lashes sir. into you um but it hits your arm but yeah, but you are able ahead. to deflect it. How do you deflect this that long, sticky tongue? With her bare arms. <laughs> <laughs> With her bare arms. B E A R. Yes. She has the right to bear arms. She does uh, have the right okay, to Okay, yeah. Arms. So now what would you like to do? Well, I would like to look into this room. There, there's what, basically what this, nothing we here. We know what happened so, there. Is there only it's one? Fritz and Brown were concerned right. by a can see. So there's bat-winged a, there's death water frog. frog in the room that the frog leaped out of, or the yeah, frog so was this, like in it? You're slo- it slanting slopes. down towards the yes. back of the room. Yep. It's obviously deep enough to hide a bat-winged a death frog. <laughs> How big is this? The, the room or the frog? The frog. Uh, it's big enough to... Like animal size. Hold half of you in its mouth. So like uh bigger like, than a wait, 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 dog like half of half of our party or half of a body half, half of, of a body, body. like okay. it could get okay. like your chest and head in its mouth okay. Okay. Wow, but it's mostly big. mouth yeah yeah so, so it's that's I don't know said. you know what brother I said that's pretty big that I said that's what she said oh. six feet <laughs> Maybe six feet ish wide. Six, enough, uh, brother. Enough. Few feet tall. Can I, like, can I swing a sword at it since it's not like a ghost or anything, and that would not be magical? So it's kind of a, a little ways away. This oh, room okay. is so eh, maybe bow. fifteen feet wide, and it's probably ten yeah. feet away. So I can use my bow. Sure. Yeah. So this yeah. tongue lashes out at you. You smack it away. Yeah. Pull out your bow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and make a Shoot blade throw. Throat. Whoa. <laughs> Nine, which a nine is a failure. Nuts. Dang oh, hand, yes. rolled it right into my hand. Uh, so <laughs> as <sucks>. you, <laughs> <laughs> as you pull out your bow and knock your arrow, you let your arrow go, and it it doesn't release immediately because some of the sticky mm. frog slime got on your hand as you Yuck. snacked it away, and now it's gunked up yeah. your arrow. Gross. Your arrow. Henry Giltry, eager to prove his might, rushes into the room and swings his Brother, sword. Do it! Yeah. <laughs> Give me a blaze roll. I'm watching very closely. Yes, so yeah. you dash like, in there. Damn it. As your feet <laughs> fall, the water splashes more and more with each step as you wade into thigh deep water. <laughs> you slash into the air at this flying frog and go ahead and roll damage. So you roll your die again. Three. Three. All right. So yeah, you slash at this thing. You knock it down. It falls into the water, uh, but you can still see some appendages and things sticking out. It is not dead, but you have knocked it out of the air. I give it like a when I say like, oh god, damn it! When he goes ahead of it, I give him like a half beat, <laughs> and then I go after him. Okay. And I pull my sword out, and then I'm gonna like just stab it in the water. Okay, great. Yeah, go ahead and make a if I blades can. roll. Six. Six. That's a success. So go ahead and roll damage. Four. Okay, yeah. You give it a good stabbing. Uh, it <laughs> croaks <Good job. laughs> and, and, and squirms away good, from you. I need croak. the two of you to make a bones roll. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> Four. Okay. 
three. Okay. Uh, Brother! <laughs> you idiot! <laughs> so, us both. as you both uh, put a beating on this bat winged death frog, uh, a second bat winged death frog's <gasps> eyes mm. pop up above the water behind you, and a tongue lashes out and lashes across both of your backs. Yeah. <clears throat> you both lose two hearts. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, that's Can I yell nothing. to Christine for backup and while I'm trying to get the gunk off of my bow? Certainly, yeah. Christine, yeah, I was casually, we need your magical powers. I was casually leaning against the wall just watching all of this, like one oh, eyebrow man. raise, like, oh, all right. so now we need the magician. <laughs> <laughs> and I cast a spell that causes the water and frogs to levitate in a contained bubble. Oh, like a real okay. maneuver. That's definitely going to be a star. I know. Use. Everything I do is a star, though. Can we, can we boil right? them? I mean, can I do it? Like, I mean, you uh, could just please shoot. Please don't boil the water that I'm standing in. But I only have, the but I also only have a four-sided <laughs> dice, so the chances of me actually making a blades it's still a fifth well kind of a 50 50 because if you rolled a it's key a 50, 50 a one, yeah. Yeah. or if you rolled that's pretty good your crown. 50, 50. you want me to you want me to yeah. just go in with my 50 50 odds although good. your crown would be a negotiated success that's what i'm saying yeah I say and i only work. have three hearts but do it you could see. you're far away it's not gonna affect you okay fine like i do the equivalent of you know throwing some daggers at it but it's with my violet Ooh. Yes, mage violet dagger daggers. Always, always <laughs> violet mage flame. And I got a key! A key, yeah. perfect. Yeah, is. so you succeed. So right. uh, go ahead and roll again for damage. That's how she's lived so long. That's how her tails a get spread. A two, yeah. And since you're throwing multiples, you're able she's to like, throw. Oh, right? One hand <laughs> goes towards one death frog, the other hand goes towards uh -huh. the other. And the death frog that the, uh, the boys here put the beaten on, a couple of your daggers hit it and it. And its tongue <laughs> flops out and it keels over into the water. Great. Um, the other one, you kind of hit it in its eyes that had popped up above and it dunks back, back below water. Run, friends! No, I try to stab it again. Oh, Jesus. Okay, go for it. And I get a four. Of course. I succeed. A four, you do succeed. So I get five points of damage to that little fuck. Okay, I yeah. come right behind him. I'm just like, <laughs> okay. sword like raised. Yeah. Guilt, the guilt trees don't run away. They don't <laughs> fuck around. <laughs> no! Yes, uh, brother! No. That's a four. A four, so you succeed. For four damage. For four damage. Yeah, so you both just plunge wow. your swords right into the Run, water. Friends. Just, <laughs> die. Die. As you go to pick yours back up, sure enough, there's just a limp bat winged death frog oh. on the end of it. Um, Huzzah, brother! Well done, death brother. Frog. As you celebrate your Definitely foot bumps rolling my eyes into something. Just walking forward. Right. What? As you two are celebrating your foot bump something. Oh, no, no. brother, avert your eyes. I look down. It's it's Fritz, isn't it? Yeah, you reach your hand down into the water. You pull out cousin one. Eric, Eric. Does our cousin have anything interesting on him? By oh sense? my god! Powerful no, brother. I gave them. Will you please rummage through his pockets? I just sort of like take him over to the side and just throw him on the ground. Take his, take his, yeah. I take his boots off. Take those. Put those in my bag. Take his whatever. I didn't, probably didn't give him a weapon. <laughs> Oh, no. I think one of them may have had a torch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Fritz had the torch. Sure. Yeah. I, I take the now definitely wet torches. <laughs> I put that in there. Yeah. And then I uh, look at him, give him a nod. And then, it is know. what it is. All right. <laughs> so in this room, you have a door on every side. You have a door behind you. You just came from door on the left, door on the right door in front of you. We're going to the um, library, right? To the... Straight ahead. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Every direction seems to be, you know, kind of under... Water. Water, but still traversable. Manageable. Maybe knee-high-ish. I, uh, as Christine is probably still against the wall now again, acting cool because she just acting did something cool. neat. Yeah. I come and lean and put a hand against the wall next to her and go... <laughs> Christine, how do you feel about exploring that library? Are you excited to see if there's any spells in there? <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and lead the way? We'd love to see what you do in there. Oh, are you I had thought that you were like hitting on me, and I was right. like, like weirdly uncomfortable. And then I, remember, when I realized what you I'm did, I'm charming, so it works. Oh, I what don't know. Work? It doesn't work. <laughs> 
Can I push is that a roll? Away? Yeah, so go, I'm leading the way. Go, go yes. ahead and give me a books roll for your your <laughs> charisma. Oh, a failure. <laughs> <laughs> you read it before you did. Oh, a failure. Oh, whoops. Uh, I anyway. just I look up at you and I'm just like. Uh, like I also I'm squishy. You can't make me go first for anything. Yeah. I make, push him out of the way. And I start walking. Yeah, look at this. Yeah. No, I just realized how hurt she is. Yeah, I just tried to be a dick to Rachel. Where, that's all. Where are you going? The library. Oh, the library, go. right? We're headed towards yes. the library. Uh, what's labeled the library on yours? Is Straight ahead. Straight ahead. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, sorry. Straight ahead. <laughs> on yours, what's labeled the library? This <laughs> right? is what is yours very cryptic. Labeled? Yeah. 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 So you open the door to this room, um, and there's an odd fungi growing on the walls and ceiling. Is. But I recognize it. Oh! oh it's that? <laughs> I know Potentially, go ahead and make a... <laughs> All right, Jackie, why don't you go ahead and make a books roll for me with advantage? an eight mm-hmm. and a four and a four oh. yeah you have not encountered uh this particular type of growth uh, mm. perhaps you know the specific environment of the stone being close to the sea a certain humidity and dampness level just not familiar mm. sorry I, friends i uh <laughs> i go closer to inspect and see if perhaps I have encountered mm-hmm. anything in my studies. Okay. I got out of four, so that's my crown. Negotiate. So ground is negotiable. So yeah. I would say you don't, you can either choose to not know anything, or I can give you some knowledge, but there is going to be a consequence that comes with it. Drag his ass. Get him. <laughs> what? I said drag his ass. Get him. Drag whose <laughs> ass? His ass. My ass. Drag it. How would I drag it? <laughs> I don't understand. Ask questions. I only have three. I only have three hey. life points. Who's can the we make it, Can we make it something where it's not me that gets hurt, but it's uh, maybe someone else that's <laughs> next to me? Sorry, it is your role. Well, then I don't know shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't want to die today. So wait, wait. <laughs> not today. Where are we and what do we encounter? I'm confused. Fungi. Mush fungi in the library. Oh. Yes. Wait, of can I look course. for a book? Or is it the is it the hallway it's leading the up to the library? <laughs> no, you yeah, you kind of walked through that area. Okay. Um, it is the library. You went up a couple fully. of stairs and opened it. Uh, this room is now basically just empty. It's just oh. this oh, there's nothing there's no fungi books. algae that is there's taking no, there's no books. books. No books. books it uh. looks like perhaps at one time there were bookshelves on the wall, but this fungus has completely like deteriorated and eaten away anything that may have Brother, been. Brother, I think okay. it's time to admit that we might not succeed. I would just say quest. don't touch it. What if we go check out another room then? But yeah. what if they're edible mushrooms? Mm. They're delicious. <laughs> Probably not. Probably you know, not. in my studies, I learned about many edible mushrooms. I bet you did. Oh, we don't have Fritz or Fromm to try go one. go for it. <laughs> Henry, yeah. by all means, right? if you'd prefer to try one. Oh, do we have any more cousins around? <laughs> no, I've answered. I this. keep forgetting. I just I go to back to the. Be able to I, try go, things I go back to the room, yeah. and I'm going to go towards the treasury. Yeah, mm. sure. the room to the okay. left as we yes. walked in. Gotcha. I'm gonna take a Do bite a of a mushroom food. after everyone leaves. So as you open that, <laughs> touch it. He's taking a bite of it. I took oh, a bite. As they walk away, you reach into the room and okay. I, just, I, I, I can't help but try oh, it. Man. I'm like. I've had good mushrooms before. If I have to use a star as point you, to save your ass, I swear to God. <laughs> as you reach forward, uh, <laughs> the fungi kind of pulses, Ooh. and a purple cloud of spores releases mm. into your face. Mm. Uh, go ahead and make a bones roll. You idiot. It was a two. <laughs> <laughs> I did roll a two. <laughs> Go ahead Eric, and take where are eight you? harm. Why you paying attention eight? to him? I only have four yeah. harm. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, well. So, by the way, as we're walking down the stairs, I'll be the last one to walk down the stairs. Like, yeah. I was like, oh, let's go down and everything. And then I like, Yeah, oh. and then all of a sudden you hear a gasp. <laughs> <laughs> and Did Henry just die? He's going to make a death roll. Sorry, Henry falls to the floor. Uh, yeah, let me bring up the death roll table here. I imagine you look like a Dementor. You just had like, to eat it after I told you not to. Go on, Say, it was pulsing. <laughs> it looked tasty. Oh, oh interesting. Oh, I'll say, you no, two go to the treasury. Watch our backs. 
I'm gonna try to go up there and try to like. Okay, bye. Revive her. <laughs> like, I, well, I don't, great. I don't want us all to be like in the library. Like, Later, let's losers. all save Henry, right. and then like something comes up behind us and fucking like, I'm okay. also so you, here. You see, Henry's veins are popping and swelling and looking uh, dark all through his neck. He might need a magic wielder not though. Looking good. Uh, he's he's gasping and kind of convulsing on the floor. Go ahead and make a death door roll, which actually you will be rolling a d4 for this one. So. Oh, here. Who got a d4? <laughs> Sorry. It's... One key. Well, that's not how that die works out. <laughs> Friend. <laughs> Um. <laughs> Sorry, Henry. <laughs> oh. That is the end of the line for you, sir. Uh, really? Good no. news. You get, to, oh, yeah. good news. you get to run tech for the rest of the time <laughs> unencumbered. <laughs> I lean in and I, I start to like, look I'm at him. Dead. I see him like, is he like, what, what does it look like when he dies? Like, what is it? <laughs> yeah, so he was like convulsing and gasping. The, his eyes roll into the back uh-huh. of his head. And then he's just kind of going limp. That's now, why you got a spare. you could, I will say, there is another table if they receive aid or healing. Oh, you should call for a magic wheel. I close um, the door. Oh, oh shit! This is my friend. Oh I just sort of like close the door. Oh, shit! I just sort of like his, look his, over. There's, there's a light that's there still like out. Oh, you kind of have to push it in a little bit. Oh, look at man. Kevin's I just, it's like, I just sort of watch him just like <laughs> fade into wow. I, I, I hope you see it. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, don't worry, brother. The new lord of the Gilcrest will what? take care of things. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I uh, just sort of wait until he passes on. Yeah, uh, he expires fairly quickly. Oh, oh, amazing. Oh, nice. Expires. I, uh, go. <laughs> <laughs> Open the door. <sighs> Henry is no more. <laughs> I kind of just shrug and, and I'm like, I'm more than the next heir. <laughs> I will, as the next in line, will take care of his affairs, but we should make post haste. <laughs> All right. So where are you I heading take, now? I take, I take like a whatever like little pin or little uh, thing that you've got that's like an insignia of the guild. Sure, my to, ring. I yeah. Ring. I, oh my gosh! <laughs> just no. get it off. <laughs> Any means necessary. Wow. Wow. Oh gosh. Get it you off. You mutilate my corpse. Whatever. Father won't know. All right. So while they are doing that, you are approaching the room marked as treasury on your map. Mm-hmm. Yes, so you open the door Freya here. Mm-hmm. Okay, Freya's going first. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, you open the door to this room, and, um, yeah, there's, it, it kind of slopes up a little bit. Um, so you're kind of in, you know, knee-ish deep water in your room, and pretty soon, this room's rather large. Um, it comes up out of the water, and at the far end of the room, you see... A large pile of treasure. Okay. It's the treasury, as you correctly assumed on the map. (laughs) (laughs) Yep. Do we care about that? I don't care about that. I don't care about that either. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Is there anything else in there? Is there anything evil in there? Are there any people in there? There are no people in there, just... A bunch of treasure, just chests and gems and things just heaped overflowing on the other end of the room. We just close mm-hmm. the door behind us mm-hmm. and kind of like block um, <laughs> anyone's view and start heading towards the opposite door. The mm-hmm. opposite door. All right. You go down there. I, I assume that we sort of intersect. Yeah. You meet back up with Eric. Yeah. And from there, we're going to cut to outside. Hmm. Oh. Outside, we see a scene, a magical purple bubble uh, resides on an old mosaic floor of a crumbled fortress. The lightning flashes, a wave breaks against the bluff, and ocean spray mists up and over as a bunch of angry goblins are trying to find a way through this magic barrier. Good luck, bitches. <laughs> <clears throat> they part, and we see a goblin shaman marching forward <gasps> and begin chanting and banging his staff on the ground. Oh. Back upon the bluff that 
everyone seems to scramble down to get to this area, we see a dark, hooded, mysterious stranger. <laughs> Who, what, what is the stranger doing here? He's curious. He's curious. Before him? He's just watching. Magic bubble? He doing anything? Goblins? On the side of the goblins? I don't know. Mm-hmm. He just walks through the goblins and comes up to the edge of the dome. How, how does he expect the goblins to react to him? They just freak out. They freak out. Mm. There's like, a lot of goblins. They just like part because they know his raw power. Bullshit! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. How many stars do I get as the mysterious stranger? Oh, uh, I believe you are a sh- Yep, it should stay down there. I think you're six hearts, three stars. Okay, wow. give me another star. I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess I could help you. Oh, no, it's okay. I got it. So are you a fighter it. of some kind? <laughs> He's a sh- He's an assassin. Sh- an assassin. So, unbeknownst to them, as he's walked past them, by the time they see him, He's already hit them with a stab in a crucial point that is extremely deadly. All of them? All of them. He just he's quiet and he's There's deadly. There's like 30. Wow. You're not a superhero. <laughs> They're bro. focused Have you on seen the bubble. Are you like one I'm, by one, like from the back, just like just sneak in? I'm fucking Christine Angel. <laughs> and I one. have struggled with I'm my gonna star. I'm going to spend a goddamn star on it. And one by one. Spend 30. He is quiet. <laughs> How about this? How about you have a magical item? If you want to spend a star, we'll give a flashback, get you a magical item. A magical dagger can, of silence. Can give you this. Okay. You have a, a dagger of silence. Great. <clears throat> yeah, narratively. You're just all right. I'm silently Pass killing him. all these goblins. Okay. I'll give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and as the <laughs> the goblin, <Yeah. laughs> you're just taking them all up. We got 15 more, baby. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> <laughs> Mother, oh, please, the shaman, Mommy, oh, yeah. Daddy. Daddy. and I get up to the shaman, and he's so focused <laughs> on what he's doing, and I just slide it slowly Ew. into his spinal column. Oh, just before you touch God. him, his staff falls one more time. The magical barrier breaks. How convenient oh, for no. you. And I casually start walking in. Hmm. Casually. Right. Quite an entrance. We'll cut back to the three of you. Uh-huh. What are we doing? So they've... Yeah. <laughs> I just say, nothing in there. And then <laughs> right. go towards the vault. I walk behind them and just sort of... Uh, Henry did not make it. So. Oh. How unfortunate. I am the new... Um, That's it? Patron <laughs> of this... That's uh, all you have to say about Henry? <laughs> I'm the new patron of this expedition, so we will be moving forward. Mm. Noted. Excellent. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you will still be paid. It should not affect our uh, agreement. Cool. All right. So as you head kind of south, the, the floor is sloping this way. You get into more like thigh deep water here. You open the door into this room, and it is all mostly underwater. Uh, you do see almost like a just a pile of debris kind of up on the left hand side more towards the back um and you do see a a trap uh chest sitting there it's closed chest kind of in a pile of debris and rummage also to your left is a doorway well sire secret entrance is probably the door the The vault is what we're currently in yeah um what are your orders? suppose someone should investigate the chest. I can do that. <laughs> Great. <laughs> and perhaps the two of you can... One can stand here and keep watch. And another can perhaps start going down the tunnel and investigate. I'll go down the tunnel and investigate. I'll stand Perfect. watch. I see <clears throat> Rom anywhere? <laughs> Fritz is dead. I know that. Fritz yeah. is gone. Or no. <coughs> Fromm is dead. Both of them are dead. Fromm disappeared. They both, they Fritz both is dead. They both have noises. Yeah. Is Fromm dead? Can I presume that Fromm is dead? You would make that presumption. Okay, have I haven't <laughs> seen him yet. Fromm is yeah. certainly deceased. Sure. You, you, if you go back to that other room and kick oh, around in the ladder. I don't care. I don't, I don't give a shit about <laughs> okay. Fromm or Fritz either. Or I, I don't even give a shit about my own brother. Yeah. So, yep. um, yeah. Okay. And you're staying right like by the entrance? 
Yeah. To the room? Okay. I'm just double checking yeah. where people are. Okay. Just yeah. keep an eye out for anything. I'm casually character me. Cool as a cucumber leaning Super against cool. the wall, kind of arms crossed. Super cool. Player me just. Player me. Oh, <laughs> Why would you ask where I am? <laughs> right. I go up to the chest. Just So as you start heading out to the chest in this room, is getting deeper and deeper as the floor slopes down. You're quickly up to, you know, yeah, neck I height. Got my oh, brother. And as you wade in, uh, Freya, you are heading down the hallway. Yes. So well. yeah, you kind of do that awkward water walk, mm-hmm. you know, when you're in thigh deep water. I have my bow. Over drawn. to the hallway. Uh, but it's kind of slowly raising up. By the time you get to the hallway or maybe knee height, you get into the hallway and you start walking out of it. At the end of the hallway, you see something kind of reflecting. Um, you move a little bit closer and you can tell the reflection is maybe like a mirror or something, mm. but it's hiding behind old drapery like curtains that are mothy in and the bottoms are black mold is growing up them they're full of holes they're very ragged what would you like to do can i walk towards them yeah and look okay sneak a peek yeah i want to like <laughs> check what's out what's behind them yeah so you kind of <gasps> peek behind them <gasps> and yeah it's a large oh, yeah. ornate <laughs> mirror um <laughs> Right, it's like a, a large floor mirror. It's from the floor, probably six, seven feet tall. Mm-hmm. Looks like a pretty normal mirror, a little dirty, a little dusty. Um, but as you look into it, the hallway behind you kind of disappears. And it it's would appear that mirror. directly behind you is a large door. Uh, this door has two handles and two locks. The handle and lock on the left side is ornate. It's like an ornate carved Ooh. panel that looks like a tree and a leaf comes <gasps> out for the little thumb latch mm-hmm. uh, and a branch goes up and around the the lock hole. Mm-hmm. And then the door, the handle and the lock on the right looks just like a standard heavy duty steel, kind of like an exterior door lock. Is this through the mirror? In the mirror, like in the, the reflection, reflection, it would appear that the door is behind you. If you turn and look behind you, it's the hallway. But if the reflection in the mirror shows it's a door like behind you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Just hop in the yeah. painting. <laughs> and let's come back to Eric and yes. Christine. I am okay. just trying to get a good grip on the chest, and I'm going to try to like, you know, pry it open if I have to. Yeah, so you swim out there. Climb up on the rubble. Um, go ahead and make a boots roll to see how well you can navigate the swim and climb. Uh, that is a one. A one. That is your key. Yes. So you are successful. <clears throat> Done this a hundred times. Oh, we've had a death. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping you wouldn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, wait, wait. Are you in the bad? But, that but technically, good. was Eric okay. successful? Yeah. In oh. his. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Good. Oh. Good job, GM. Uh, player. Yeah, Negotiation yeah. with the GM. Sorry, right, maze controller. Maze controller. I uh, always ask. Still a game they master. can say no, oh. but I gotta ask. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And you know Sorry, what, what was your role? Oh, yeah, you were successful. So yes, yeah, you key. climb up there. Yep. Um, yeah, you're able to pop this thing open. It's not locked or anything. There I- are. Ready to see if there's yeah. anything in there. Four. <laughs> right, it's full of jewels and things that would equate uh, to four treasure for the group if you'd like uh, to take them. Just keep in mind we'd be <laughs> encumbered at that point. You'd be encumbered if you have nine treasure. Which or, oh, we're okay. Uh, we're at five. Yeah. yeah. So you could take some, right? Like you don't have to take all of it. Yeah. I'll take. I'll get us to eight. Yeah, eight. sure. Go ahead and grab a few treasure there. <clears throat> Perfect. Great. Smiling to myself. And then go ahead and make a bones roll. Oh. Oh. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> sure. Okay, maze controller. It's a four. I like the oh, little four. ding there. Right? Ding. Ba-da. Ding. So, as you start grabbing this treasure, a tentacle. Oh. oh. You see a tentacle pop up, but before you can react in any way, it lashes around your leg. Is it out of the water, I'm assuming? Yeah, it just comes up yeah. out of the water. 
wraps uh, around you. <laughs> pulled down uh, the ground. And uh, you <laughs> pull down this rubble pile as mm-hmm. you bounce and get dragged and beaten down this pile. I roll my eyes again and shoot a fucking. Yeah, so thing you get pulled him, yeah. down underwater. You take. You lose four hearts. Okay. That's wow. Uh, yeah, you can go I ahead and make your attack if you like. Plus two. My key. Key? Yeah, so you succeed, so you're. Two. Blasting it for two damage. Okay, very good. Can I just keep doing it? Um. Until it stops. Can I scream? Can I say something before I like fall into the water completely? Yeah, as you're being pulled into the water. Yeah. Ooh. Get Freya! <laughs> 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 All right, you head under. So Freya, we'll cut back to you. You're looking into this mirror. You see this dual-handled door reflected in front of you. Do I think that maybe the key that we found on the guard would oh. go into the more ornate? Ooh, got it. Potentially, I do believe... <laughs> So well, if you well, had it, like, it, I would have like, taken she it. She yeah. looted him for sure. I would have taken it, and I probably would have. Can we like just? I could do a star if you want, but I could. I would say that like I'm not necessarily going to be trying any doors or things on my own. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I probably would have taken it though to the chest because I probably would have thought that'd it be locked. So yeah. I think I would. I think you yeah. have it. Okay. okay. So, as curious as I am about this mirror, I think I have to head back. To okay, Eric. Yeah, so you're Chris. gonna head back, but we're gonna cut back outside. Okay. There is a heap of dead goblins laying on this ancient mosaic floor. The storm rages <laughs> on, and our mysterious stranger has <gasps> entered so entered the vault. What type of lighting does the mysterious stranger have? Lighting. Yeah. Oh. As you descend into the Darkness. the vault. He Doesn't only exists mm-hmm. in darkness. The mysterious stranger trips and falls down the stairs. This is one of our... God shit. damn my drama! <laughs> <laughs> my edge! The death what if he died again? <laughs> do I need to do a bone troll? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is like Kenneth with the fear stage. Sex? Oh, he yeah, you guys. He's you, 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 you catch He's the head of your cloak. Bones. You stumble and you're like, oh shit, there's stairs here, yeah. You make your way down. Uh, That's so cool. It's like Palpatine entering like the like a room and just like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm good. Nobody touch me. Nobody touch me. I'm fine. We probably would hear it, right? <laughs> yeah. He definitely would hear it. I mean, like, yeah. we're, we're all the way over here. There's no That's way he's here. deadly, uh, you quiet, fall. and agile. Mm, so no. it's a gymnastics roll down the stairs. Yeah, thank he you. He trips down the stairs, but turns it into a beautiful cartwheel. <laughs> yeah, he lands on his feet. <laughs> Meant that the whole time. Uh, yeah. So, what does the mysterious stranger look like, and what are their motivations here? He's clouded in darkness. Yes. But if you were to peer under his hood, his face would be a scarred remnant of a once great man. Wow. Ooh. Just pop that one off the dome, huh? Good. That was good. Whiskey's <laughs> a hell of a drug. <laughs> uh, He's here because he's very curious to meet other people because normally people are afraid of him because he can dispatch them at great ease, as you've witnessed. Yeah. And so these people who've actually made it past the horde of goblins and into... (laughs) What? So you're here to make friends? (laughs) (laughs) No. (laughs) No. (laughs) I'm looking for friendship. Hang on. (laughs) He wants to see if the people who were able to get past the horde of goblins are up to meeting his challenge. Oh. Wait. Of friendship. <laughs> Not friendship. <laughs> he wants to test to be my his friend. His grit against theirs. Oh, oh, so you're not part of the party. You're oh. a villain. Not really a villain, just a different bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not the villain. Define villain. villain. Okay, I guess as the mysterious stranger enters, uh, you mm. unbeknownst <laughs> to the other <laughs> You killed me! I'm yeah. drowning. New darkness draws nearer. When, do, when does it okay, you become didn't kill bleak? me. You let me die. At yeah. Night. Okay, great. We got, we got a couple. And who's got, to say that if I had yeah. tried my hardest, you would still be alive? Maybe you would have still fine. Yeah. So uh, as he does his gracious, beautiful, tumble down the stairs. <laughs> His groom work. <laughs> he then stands up. <laughs> Looks around. He sees a uh, pile of bones, an open doorway to his left, and then that hallway to the right, a flooded room to his left, 
Uh, can he see any torchlight coming from the other players? Or could he hear them? Um, I think looking to the left, you might have just like the slightest notion of, of a light far, far away. He starts going towards the closest torchlight that he can witness. Okay. I'm going to cut back to the three of you. Oh, barefoot. <laughs> He's fucking <always> barefoot. <laughs> that makes me so barefoot. much scared. I'm so much more scared of him. <laughs> He walks barefoot the in, the dungeon. Right? <laughs> in the dungeon. He's barefoot, water. but he's silent walking in the water, too. Oh, God. oh then why did he make that much noise? Because right? I'm not It was on him. purpose. Oh. <laughs> uh, so all right, so we come back to the three of you. Eric, you have just been pulled down below <laughs> water. <laughs> Uh, can I like try to swing at this thing that's like under? Can I like try to stab it? I'm not gonna swing. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Sp- go ahead and okay. uh, make a blades roll. Six. Six is a success. Eight for eight points of damage. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm just trying to like you. You stab it pretty well, um, and I think the magical glow of Christine's orb is able to penetrate this pretty well. Sure. You know, better than like a torchlight, which right. might reflect off right. the surface. Um, and yeah, you see, this is just a monstrosity of tentacles in. It makes me more like I'm just now frantically trying yeah. to get out of this. Yeah. Um, yeah, you hit it and you you do some pretty serious damage. You get in there, um, do some slicing and dicing, and it, it does let you go. So you are able to swim back towards the I'm surface. Gonna back, I'm going to swim back towards Christine. So this like, is the. I think make a boots roll to see if yeah, you can determine. Yeah, yeah. Is this you the know, garbage direction. crusher scene Underwater. three? From, uh, a new hope. A three. So yeah, you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just like. <laughs> yeah. Like swim. <laughs> All right. So Freya, there. you run back into this room. You wade back into the thigh mm-hmm. deep water, just as you see Eric <gasps> pop his head above water. Away from the water. <laughs> back into the other room. Yes. Okay. Great. Okay. We. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I we, we kind of like help him out. Yeah, we and help we him just, and close yeah. that door behind us. Okay, why don't as you all are looking to flee, go ahead and make a boots roll. Five, mm, two, five. So you are successful. Two. Oh, so Our as you swim away, you're, can I do it magically though for advantage? Is that what the edge does? Oh, yeah. I think the edge would be if you are dealing with something magical. Well, is this monster? <laughs> Isn't it magical? Isn't all things magical? Really, when you think about it? Have you heard of the magic of life? The magic of life? Isn't life Love force and magical uh, elements uh, in this world? Yeah, unfortunately, a no, tentacle... Okay, great. But she's nature-wise. Mm. <laughs> this thing is not natural. Then it's oh. magical! Oh. Oh. You have to choose! <laughs> you gotta choose! She, she got you, dude. All right, what of you may Dragon's choose ass. advantage? You should Just let me choose advantage because I only it. got the three. Yeah. Okay, great. Right. You choose advantage. Oh, I love this. Yeah, I got four. I did it. Okay. Did it. I like how that's did just it. for you. Like, you're still totally, like, fucking. Look <laughs> <laughs> yeah. at how many so what she happens? Got, and I've got some. She's some living t- her best life. Like. So, a tentacle, as you're swimming out, you're about to flee. You tell them to flee. They turn. A tentacle reaches out, grabs you by the ankle. Um, but Freya dives on it, wrestling you free. <clears throat> uh, I got you, girl. Freya, I got you. <laughs> you take, you lose four hearts. It was worth it. And get dragged under the water. Okay, I don't know about that part. But, you know. <laughs> I've never had a friend before. Oh. I've always been so you isolated got a by friend my family. You know, I noticed that at Pigwarts, but. Now's not the time. <laughs> Push her through the door. <laughs> You, you're abandoning Freya? We're not going to go and fight the thing in the water. Are you going to go for it? You've already killed off one. Okay, this is the garbage I, crusher scene from A New Hope. No, just so... Fuck that. No, I'm like she, so excited there? that I have a friend. So I cast a spell to cause her to levitate out of the water and just like oh. come along with us. All right, you're going to okay. use a spell? Yeah. Okay. Bye yeah. Bye heart. Go ahead and do it. Thanks. Throw it at him. I would never. Thank Give you. us the sauce. How's it look? How's it feel? How's it taste? Oh, as he's pulling me out, as he's as he's pulling me out, as he's pulling me out the door, my other hand. <laughs> as he's pulling me out the door, my other hand reaches out and like a lasso of gold mage, not gold, um, violet mage flame wraps around her and pulls her out, levitating. She kind of like slingshots a little bit so that she's actually like 
right next to us. Okay. As you pull her out, this tentacle comes with it, and you see just a swirling mass of gross, red, veiny tentacles come with her, and then they release and drop back down into the water. Great. Now she does that. I slam that door. All right. You close the door. Well, thank you. You okay? No thanks to you. Yeah. Some worries here, sir. (laughs) (laughs) My only objective is to get through this as quickly as possible. We've already lost my dear brother and cousins. And frankly, I think that what we've found so far has been ample reward for our time. So let us not make haste out of this place. I don't <laughs> Lead the way. Okay. I, uh, for Freya, are you okay with that? Him leading the way with leaving? To, to, to leave. I'm, I would like to tell them about the mirror and that there was another door. (laughs) And I think the key that our Mm. poor Henry had, which I assume you now have, could potentially unlock this door. Follow the key, hand it to you, by all means. So I lead the way and I show them. As you three are having this conversation, our mysterious stranger, you were heading towards the light? I am running towards the light. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you pass through a room full of shadows um, into a hallway full of burnt fungi and algae. My back is to where he's coming from. All right, so yeah. I don't even know. I and don't you see, see in an eerie purple light three figures standing, talking in the room in front of you in thigh, or ankle, nope, calf, deep water. (laughs) Nope, calf, deep water. I take my magical dagger. What the fuck? Mm. And I throw it towards whoever's closest to me at their neck, spine area, and then I run around to the other side to flank the next person. Oh, you just attack us? You, (laughs) specifically. Five. A five is a blades roll. Okay, so you are successful. So if it's boots and blades, the five works for both, right? Well, I think okay, you so make blades. your blades roll first. So my whoever who's the closest to me that the back? Nate. 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 Hello, brother. <laughs> <laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> uh, so should I roll for damage? Uh, yeah, roll for damage. Two. That's two. All right, yeah, you lose two hearts. I don't have any hearts left. Okay. Well, you've got, you've got some, can you use a star? Well, I go, don't I go to death's door? I'm marked. So you drop, yeah, you go to death's door, but you need to roll a d4 on death's door. Okay. Oh, here. I, uh, as I like fall down. <laughs> we see this happen. Oh, shit. What do I have to get on a d4? Uh, we'll see. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ominous. Four. Four. Uh, oh. great. So, yeah, you... Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this hits you. You drop. Yeah. Um, you are going to go ahead and be marked. Yep. Which you've already done. Yep. Um, and I think at this point, you have been down here a while. I think we're going to go ahead and give you the hurt condition. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. But sure. being, yeah, being hit with this, um, you know, you're you're no noob to no. this lifestyle. You've been stabbed before. <laughs> yeah. Doing so kind of awakens something in you, right? You've you've had some tentacles grab yep. you, you've seen some death, and oh, yeah. now you've just been stabbed unexpectedly. Something's definitely awoken with all this stuff. The part of you that does this job is ready to go. Yep. You get stabbed, it drops you for a second. But you stand back up. Yeah, go to a you're knee. You're hurt. Just stand up. Yeah. You're hurt. A little closer to death than you were before. But uh, go ahead and refill your hearts and stars. Oh. What? Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I ran and when, I hid in the corner of the room in no, the darkness. No, but when that happened, my globe of light flared super fucking bright. <laughs> you can't fucking hide, you butthead. <laughs> um, I guess go ahead and make a... a so, a boots roll? So if it glared at that time, if I succeeded in my boots roll, that I did find the darkness. You did not. 
Boots, did. five. Damn it. Boots. I did find that. <laughs> How do you feel about that? I would say the rest of you can make books rolls oh. to see if you can spot him. Oh, I got a three. I rolled a ten. That's an eight. It's okay, I see him and I tell everyone where he is. <laughs> I think you see something. You're not sure what has happened. But, but, well, but I'm throw a dagger at her. I'm definitely on fucking guard because yeah. of our environment. Sure. Mm-hmm. I throw a dagger at her as she sees me. Five I rolled for <laughs> blades. So I rolled two damage. Well, I get to roll a bones, right? Well, up to the maze control. Uh, yeah, I think you, you take two, take two damage. But well, you have three, don't you? Yeah, but I think does. that's giving oh. up your location. Yeah, right? I think like, now yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Kill him! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna Go just for I'm it. gonna try to dive to cut off his path and just take a swing at him. Great, yeah, you lunge forward, make your blades roll. Uh that is a six. Six is a success. Go ahead and roll your damage. That is an eight. <laughs> Why did you decide that you wanted to be antagonistic? Because if I die twice, it's gold. <laughs> okay. So eight damage? Yes. Yeah, so you I only did. Had six cards. God damn. I'm back on the ground. Okay, he's going to need your D4 to roll on Death's Door. Can I have four. that D4 for Death's Door roll? Yeah, refill my health. Refill my health. Come on, number four. So how many do I have? Six. Much, right. Much the back same my dice. as Eric, but you are now marked and hurt. I look to the two oh, of you. Oh, I forget. You do have disadvantage on blades rolls. Oh, being hurt now. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you want me to re-roll? It's okay. We'll, we'll just continue just, on yeah, from here. Good, yeah, uh, give me a star back too. Ah. Yeah, that's what you get for flinging them at me. <laughs> now you gotta reach for it. Um. Kill him. <laughs> I only have one little So is that Freya's turn right. then? Yeah. Magic yeah. from a distance. You two? Just make, keep away from him. Uh, do something. <laughs> I have my bow already drawn. I'm going to try to stand okay. in the distance. Freya, Freya hasn't, been the, well, <laughs> hasn't been the most reliable. Well, hasn't been the most reliable. You do have magic available too. Can I? You can use your star point to cast a spell. Yeah. You can also transform. Yeah. You can do a lot of things. I don't know if I need to transform, if I need to shape shift and stuff. But can I, yeah, cast a spell? Sure. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. You can cast a spell if you want. I mean, you can use a magical attack, which would just be a regular blades roll. Yeah. If you want to do a, a serious magical spell of some sort, you could use your star point. I think I'd probably yell to, like, stop him because he's, like, clearly fast right. and oh. yeah. things from the shadows. So, like, keep him still. Restrain. Like, yeah. Restrain him or something. Like a stun or like a vine or something out yeah. of the ground. Yeah, wrap him up in vines. Hell yeah. Do you want to use your star point for that? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so you <laughs> channeling the magic of Earth. What does this look like? What is it, what's it feel like? What's it sound How like? How far away is he from me? I don't know. You all are in a room that's not huge. It's, what, maybe 12, 12 by 24? Yeah. yeah, like maybe I think I probably feel. just, like, put my hand out, and the vines just start coming yeah. out so from the ground and, like, all around him, and... Yeah, totally so the vines from him. pop out of the water and out of the wall, <laughs> busting through the mortar of the mm-hmm. brick. And have him just suspended there. Oh, all no! Up. He's got three of those! <laughs> Dang it! And as that happens... <laughs> no, 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 hold on. He didn't let me use a star point. He, hold on. I think that you got to do that first. It was his turn, then your turn, then her turn. Is yeah, it not but my turn? You don't like, get to use a star to counteract a star. You have to let I, it It's happen. a narrative control. I don't... You all just put yourselves in the situation. Oh, As fuck. the vines cover me and restrain me, magical daggers rain down in the entire room and slice away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's <laughs> you are not magical. You <laughs> have not a magical dagger. Oh, okay. My magical dagger, I think. Your singular dagger falls. <laughs> it's <laughs> fucking magic. Just wait for it. Pink. My magic dagger Into the falls water. from my hand and slices through enough that I can wriggle free. Are these, uh, like, star? So, I think at this point, I probably have fought, like, I think I fought, like, assassins or, you know, people of the like. You've encountered, point. yeah. Because, like, as a cell sword, I get hired by people all the time as bodyguards and stuff, and I probably had to fight off assassins. Here sure. So, I'm, I'm, I know that the fastest way to have this happen is just to fucking kill him yeah like yeah we can't we're not gonna talk to him we're not gonna like yeah. just just put him down yeah so um i think 
at this point, I'm going to pull out my poison dagger. Oh. Okay. Ooh. So I'm going to use a star for that. Okay. Because I would have... And I, I'll use a treasure, too, because I would have bought that. Okay. And I would have had that for a while. And I would have <laughs> kept that kind of not super well known. Sure. Fair enough. So, and then I'm going to try to get a good swing at it. Yeah. I mean, using a star point... Um, I, where, where did this poison come from? Give, uh, a, give, give us a flashback as to how you came into possession of this. So I would frogs. have... So I would have probably... Before we even left, mm-hmm. I would have talked to the alchemist at the Gilcrest estate, or the Giltree estate, I'm saying Gilcrest, <laughs> Giltree estate, yeah. and I would have, you know, propositioned for some poison. Would have propositioned just in case. for some poison? Yeah, just, you know, give him a good, uh, you know. What kind of payment did you offer? Yeah, yeah. well, the best kind. Oh my um, gosh. You know, I would have. <laughs> well, how are you? Uh? I, w- <laughs> <laughs> I would have, uh, you know, requested this, but I would have kept it on the down low. I said, you know, don't. This is not supposed to be on the ledger. It's not supposed yeah. to be anything else. Um, intended for dearly departed Henry. But no longer do I need it for Henry because oh, Henry wow. killed himself. Wow. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he, did he kill himself or did you fail to save him? Well, yeah, no, you ate, you a, ate a goddamn you mushroom. It looks so yeah. yummy. <laughs> if you hadn't eaten it, you'd Was be alive and well. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, you pull out this yeah, just, thing. And while you are able to break free yes. from the magical lines. Like, <laughs> you're still occupied with them. Sure. As you yeah. come forward, where, where are you placing the dagger? Heart. Just heart poison straight to the heart. That's what I'm trying to get to. Get right in there. All yeah, right. Right center mass is easiest to hit, and that's where the blood goes. Yeah, so. no, I think you've done it. You've used a star point. Oh, yeah. That is narrative. It's oh. not a roll. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> goodbye. You, yeah, yeah, I the, just, you just, hit the uh, character's heart and the player's heart. <laughs> the player's heart. I, I, I ram it You've deep. killed him twice. I ram it deep, and then I take it out, and then I just... Kick you are. What if I thrive on poison? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> you just the I love no. it. Oh, you found my so joy. Good. You yeah. are. Oh no, my kink. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Go ahead and roll damage for me. Just ah, what a freak. <laughs> Daddy. Oh no. That's a one. Okay. So right, like oh. it's, a, it's a dagger. It's not a ton of damage, but you're poisoning him. Yeah. Sure. So sure. you feel this piercingness in you. And then, Eric, you start having flashbacks to looking into your brother's eyes mm. as this <laughs> person moment of my life. His eyes roll into the back of his head, yes. his mouth begins to froth, <laughs> the veins on his neck begin to bulge, much the way your brother did. One day. And, <laughs> yeah, you are lucky guy. I am. Perhaps a bit haunting to you, perhaps. Not Perhaps at all. No That's big a, deal. Yeah. Like okay. He's excited. <laughs> I've seen so much shit. <laughs> I've seen like all sorts of people die. This is just like nothing. Uh, <laughs> okay, so you uh, you are poisoned. Go ahead and make a roll at disadvantage on death door. Uh, D four. Oh, D four for death door. Death door. Knock knock knocking death on death door. door. Okay, that was a three. Okay, and then I got. A three. A three. A three and a back. three. Thirty-three. No. No. <laughs> it's a weapon. This is true. Okay. You're you're fighting this poison a bit. You are laying there, convulsing, foaming at the mouth. You're not a threat. You're not necessarily dead. Does anybody else want to do anything? I mean, he's not dead. Oh yeah. He's- I I totally just throw a um magical blade at him yeah i don't think you need mm-hmm. to roll i don't think you get to make a, a, a <laughs> yeah. door save i think Bye. that's the end he's done <laughs> but he Karma smoke, is he a, bitch. a smoke bomb ready to go <laughs> <laughs> he has hard slush stars left okay he has smoke bomb ready to go okay how can you use your smoke bomb Right before she threw it, he threw the smoke bomb. As soon as he was poisoned, stabbed, he threw the smoke bomb. So, what would would she have to roll? Yeah, so I guess go ahead and make a roll. It's my key. Your key. (laughs) So, as you're laying there, you're dying. (laughs) At last, I'm hidden by smoke. (laughs) And then the knife just takes you out. I fucking love that I died. 
<laughs> Let's in get out of here, everybody. I uh, and now I can take off this hot ass robe. <laughs> I come, Jeepers. I come out of the fog, just like, God <laughs> damn it! Can we please leave this place? <laughs> yes, let's go. Yeah. You had the mirror. Yeah, what? The mirror. Yes. Do you we want to? All right. So yeah, I if love you want that to I go keep... look at the mirror. Or can. we could just oh, because we thought that that was an exit. Or we could literally just walk out. Yeah, but I love came. I completely derailed your mirror scene with right? a fight me scene. <laughs> what do you want to do? My mission's complete. I'm good. It's I've got either. quite the story to tell. I feel like I don't feel satisfied, but I also don't feel confident taking it on. <laughs> Alone. <laughs> Just do it, Freya. Do it. If you ask me, I'll go. Yeah, Freya. Do you want to check out a really cool mirror real quick? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's all you had to say. <laughs> that was a really cool mirror. Yeah, let's go. Uh, I would imagine Christine Angel loves nothing more than saying as soon in as, mirror. As, soon, yeah. as soon as she said that, I was say like, no more. sold. Yeah. Right. So I, you approach this mirror and you all see the same thing. I'll mm-hmm. go with. The reflection. The Behind you seems to be a door, two handles, one an ornate tree looking thing, the other just a standard lock. What do you want to do? It's magical. Yeah. Can I touch the mirror? Yeah. What happens? I touch, touch the, the mirror. mirror? <laughs> Is there a handle? Who has it? the key? Oh, I have the key. Okay, just a mirror. Okay. Okay, I take the key. <laughs> yeah. All right. And I put the key up to the door. Yeah, so you you're able to kind of step through. To the door in the mirror. <laughs> you, what, what, what lock is you putting Is this a mirror on the wall? Yeah. Okay. The more ornate one. Uh, doesn't work. Okay, then the heavy duty you one. You put it over into the plain one, unlocks and opens into a passageway. And you can, can hear I? and smell like the water mist sea. I think I'm nervous that I'm going to, like, A, can I walk into this mirror? Yeah, your arm is, like, through the mirror okay. to open the door. Do you, like, hold my hand? <clears throat> yeah. Like, bring me through Yeah, too? yeah. Okay. Fuck Do you, you, like, pass the key or something? Like, is there a way to, like, pass it? Now that it's open, it's open. like, you oh, okay. can yeah. step through the right. mirror. Okay. It's basically just a doorway now. Got it. Cool. Yeah. All right, so, yes, I pull them through <clears throat> as well if they would like to follow. You but I definitely lead the way because I've got through. the most hearts. Yeah. You lead the way down this winding. Oh, I don't step through. Oh, no. <laughs> Great. I didn't want you to. It's a winding hand carved tunnel. And yeah, it kind of leads out to a bluff overlooking the this massive lake. Uh, and there's a trail hewn in the, the cliff wall that takes you back up and around. This would, you assume, be the, the secret, secret entrance, entrance and, mm. and a way out. Amazing. Right. Before we go, yeah, um, I cast uh, the equivalent of um, like Accio, like come to me. Okay. In, in yeah, like Harry Potter. Um, all of no, the- we don't understand Harry Potter. Here. <laughs> I, well, I'm just for the for yeah, the yeah. people. Accio. Like, uh, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> um. Are you gonna take something from me? Oh fuck yeah! I'm gonna take, I'm hey, gonna as soon take, as I go through the mirror, before hold on. Do I the- have? Do I have all the go- like? Who has the gold from the party? I don't. It's technically communal right now, so so we probably I feel like all have a little grabbed, bit of it. Hey, I, the the last here. time I heard mention of possession of gold, I I've had it was Fritz, Fritz, Fritz and from. from. Yeah, and I've gotten oh. it from both. I've gotten and you got it from both of them, and you got it from the chest in the water. Yeah, I take everything on his person, like literally. Clothes, <laughs> clothes, <laughs> dagger I, that you love so much. I use a star and I pull the mirror off and shatter it on the floor. Uh, you start <laughs> feeling this weird tugging on you, and yeah, I think you can. You can I grab just that. Pull mirror. the mirror and just shatter. And what happens is that ha- what does any of that go through? Does any of it get through? Um, I stars are supposed. Y'all are doing things to one another. I don't know if the mechanics <laughs> are <laughs> 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 games will be playing. You're not supposed to fuck with each other. Not the whole game. <laughs> like, this is not how it's supposed to be played at all. <laughs> <laughs> Cooperative? Um, <laughs> no. I mean, I guess since you're both using stars oh, in fuck, opposition star. of one another. <laughs> I don't even know what this would 
What what if she did? She so it's basically because it's basically today. my speed versus her magic. Right? Yes. Yeah. So roll, baby. If we, if you, you rolled, yeah, a boots roll to see how quick you can get sure. it down, and then books, maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Books and boots. <laughs> She's books pretty and good boots, at books and boots. I got my key. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got my key. Oh! <laughs> I think it's split half and half. Mm-hmm. Like for right, you half of feeling it. things going, right? You're chained. Yeah. Like you, you, some of the gold starts. You still have your shirt, you. but your balls are hanging out. A hundred percent. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah, we'll do we'll it's got do one boot, one four. bracer, a shirt. I'm just like <laughs> the whole thing off. And just yeah, as your stuff starts just getting sucked into the mirror, yeah. you grab it, smash it on the yeah. ground. You're giving cold. I say. I look at Freya and I say, a "Win is a win." That's right. A win is a win. Win is a win. Well, <laughs> All I, I do, do is win, win, win. That's mazes. So wow, yeah, <laughs> we survived <laughs> each other. Left. Yeah, we're yeah, fucking gone. You're trapped there. Right, this is all I went to the other way. I went yeah. out the other way. Yeah. Yeah. Goblins are all dead. Thanks to you. Yeah, you're welcome. <clears throat> yeah, thanks. Thanks for nothing. Right. I didn't get paid. <laughs> no, I didn't. Really. Yeah. I shared the money with That's you. True. That's true. Yeah. Well, at least so the invited guest didn't get killed this time. Yeah, we split it. We're. It's like two and two. We're like, mm-hmm. we're like Still now. Still can't out ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Still, no big deal. Yeah, you're the also the. always win. You're, also, <laughs> you're the, you're the, Not you're heavy. the Lord of Guild Tree, but you're also, you had to walk there yeah. pantsless. So <laughs> I don't know what happened to you on the way. <laughs> you probably died of exposure from your balls hanging in the wind. Hey, he, he, he could have grabbed the pants of uh, one of oh, the yeah, cousins. I want to go back, back to your room and pull her pants off True. and just put them yeah. on. Yeah. Your boots on. I said pants. I took the boots yeah. from the cousins, so I Fair pulled those enough. on. It's like, I've been in here before. This is not the first time yeah, I've been naked in a situation. <laughs> that four I've pairs been, of pants in there. I've been in extreme danger. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, is that like, the, not again. The, tale, <laughs> the tale of our adventures has spread far and wide including the fact that you killed your own brother. And well, I don't baseless. think that you two know that. Yeah. You were it's in a different true. room. I just heard that Baseless he accusations. I would have okay, gone fine. back to the guilt tree okay, to you know, The said, rumors have the spread <laughs> far and wide. Yeah. I would have oh. said, the, I would have gone back to the guilt tree saying, I would have said, uh, Christine and uh, Freya yeah. played their roles admirably and we parted ways amicably. Oh, okay. They were they were more than helpful with the accomplishment of the task, mm-hmm. and um, I look forward to working with them again. <clears throat> Great, there we go. Mm. The tales say that we are fucking badass. That's, That's all right. I care about. That's right. I don't. Right. I don't want revenge. I just want you to get the what? fuck out so of my we're life. We're invited to go teach at pig wards. <laughs> we're invited to go teach at pig wards. <laughs> pig boils. Uh, pig boils. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for adventuring with us. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have enjoyed making it. Uh, and if you'd like to see more of us, you can find us on YouTube and TikTok as Tabletop Rocks. You can find us on Instagram as Tabletop underscore Rocks. Also, if you'd be so kind as to like, subscribe, and share us with your tabletop loving friends and family, we would be incredibly grateful. Um, and with that, with much love from all of us at Tabletop Rocks, we hope to be adventuring with you again soon. Yeah! yeah.